following D&D campaign is rated TV MA LSVEP. It contains strong language, sexual situations, violence, extreme Actually, nerdiness, and proper naughty stuff. behavior. Which it is intended I... only for a mature audience. <coughs> Your discretion is advised. Just so one? Sorry. Yeah. My... I don't know. <laughs> oh, okay. The so Specifically. <laughs> Um, Your all the vaginas <coughs> belong to hey, us. Here we are, here we are. Alright, happy <laughs> Sunday. <laughs> Dan, you gotta start counting me out, so that way I can cut yeah, off. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Get your shit together. Uh, yeah, happy Sunday, everybody. Um, I hope we're ready. Um, we had such a productive session last week. We really did. Let's see, uh, I, 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 I double... <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> oh, man. Cold. Um, I double prep just in case, but before we get started, why don't we go ahead and do our roll? Oh, right. Uh, I love how you always say, oh, right, as if you... I you always forget. I always, I always forget. forget. <laughs> I do, too. You're saying I could just not do it, and you guys... Like, I even forget on Monday nights with my group. There's one player that remembers every week. I never do. <laughs> Ileana got a natural 20. All right. Wow. Lennox has Burn a chair. Early. Oh, uh, that's a high number. Yeah, <laughs> high number. It's almost too, too high, high for some, yeah. <laughs> I got a 17. Five. Uh, what was yours, Dan? I'm sorry. A two. Um, <clears throat> second week in a row, Amelia wins it. I rolled a 16. Oh, nice. Nice. Wow. Oh, well done, I mean, it's not like you used it last it? week. No, yeah. you didn't use it, even though you guys were struggling in the beginning. No, that's true. Really what, what if they were struggling? <laughs> They no, 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 no. I'm looking at this. No, no, I'm looking at those first two days, and those rolls were, uh... <laughs> they improved. Yeah. They improved. Yeah. Thanks. All right, well, uh... <laughs> Um, all right, well, roll complete, recap, or uh, TV may complete. Looks like it's recap time. Go ahead, Steph. All right, okay. Uh, so this is uh, to make Eliana writing in her journal. Uh, hello there. Uh, first diary entry in a while. Sorry for not to write in here sooner. Uh, what's been happening? I've been very busy, and, well, I'm still trying to convince myself that I'm too old for this shit. Uh, Long time no right. I, I, I think that's what they say. Um, anyways, uh, with the kid back in Hirasa, we started our journey on finding his mom. Uh, it hasn't proven easy. Uh, you know, I'm not convinced that we have a natural navigator amongst us. Uh, you could think that Linick with his map making skills would be good at it. And I guess sometimes he is. Uh, maybe it's the whole Ikrim thing and the situation with Maeve that had him distracted. Oh, and I received a message from me, uh, happened a bit ago, but he sounded upset. Uh, she seemed in trouble, and even though a part of me wanted to selfishly keep it to myself, I managed to rig it to Linux. I think gently, I, I can never really tell. Um, he didn't hear from her for a couple of days, but finally did. Uh, she's fine. Of course she's fine. She's always fine. Uh, but she even had me worrying about her for a moment. Uh, Jules was acting weird all week, taking on extra watches so me and Lennox could take some nights off. Uh, I understood what he was doing, but played dumb so as not to pressure Lennox as he didn't seem to be in the headspace for, well... <clears throat> oh, oh, I also remembered about that handy spa they gifted me. Uh, the others seemed to really enjoy it. Uh, we also finally picked up a trail uh, through uh, carriage and footfall tracks. And uh, trails of tobacco. Uh, we found Ava Valley along the way, quaint little town. Asked about about whatever we saw that went about it, and came across some strange answers. Uh, some saying that the caravan had came through was a circus, <clears throat> and others saying that they seemed like anything but a circus. But we all left with the realization that these were probably the scum that had Sebastian's mother. And we were on our way, continuing to follow the tracks towards the port city of Nokomis, when we woke up to something strange in the middle of the night. Uh, sincerely, Eliana. That's it. Beautiful. All right. <clears throat> uh, okay, 
So, um, as uh, the morning comes um, up and you are just outside the city of Nokomis, um, Alzaris, you go to, you're curled up next to Derek, uh, mm -hmm. and you start to sort of rouse from your sleep before um, you realize that you're paralyzed, that everything's dark. And you hear a familiar voice. Well, actually, it's more of like a, a familiar growl and anger. Oh, no. And after a few moments of what seems frustration, uh, you hear her voice say to you, the orb has left this plane. And you have disobeyed me. What do you have to say for yourself? It was not my fault. I tried. I mean... I didn't choose you to try. I chose you to succeed. If you refuse to succeed, then I will refuse you my gifts. Okay, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Let's not, let's not get too hasty. But really, it wasn't my fault. Um, Perhaps you need a reminder of what life is like without me. Oh, God. No, I could try harder next time, if you please. Just give me the chance to try harder next time. Prove it to me. And as she says that, you sort of feel around your body this sort of that sort of dark smoke that um, sort of arises as you um, pull your hexblade weapon, and you see it kind of come off of your body and around, and it kind of swirls away from you, and you come out of your uh, your paralyzation and, and realize you're waking up. Um. So is my hex blade still with me? I don't know. Is it? I don't know. I look. I I, I go and pull out my hex blade if I can. Okay. Is it? Uh, do you have it like blinked to another um, dimension, or do you have it on your on your person? Uh, on, on me. Uh, yeah. So you pull it out, and it's there. Yeah. Um. I, is there a bush nearby or <laughs> trees? Yes, yes, you are in the uh, forest, not in the grasslands, so go ahead. <laughs> I just rewatched that episode. <laughs> you guys are <laughs> fucking trolling me, so yeah, there are things. There are things, okay. Mm -hmm. um, I aim at a bush, <laughs> preferably okay. not a tree. Okay. Um, and I try to Eldritch Blast it. Okay. Uh, yeah, so you go and Eldritch Blast it and, uh, go ahead and roll. Oops. Uh, 20? Yeah, 20 definitely hits a bush. <laughs> <laughs> so, for the sake of brevity, you know, you Eldritch Blast it, it seems to be working. Um, I'm gonna wake up, Derek. Psst. Whoa. What? What? Um, I think I'm in trouble. We're, we're, we're sleeping. No. What? No. I mean, yes, but no, not anymore because I just woke you up. So you're oh. not sleeping. Oh, wow, that's deep. I know. Sometimes. Why, why are you, why thoughts. are you in trouble? Um, do you, do you remember, um, that, that patron that I have, right? 
Uh, and w while she's asking, Derek's uh, exaggeratingly stretching like a cat would that was just woken mm -hmm. from an ad. He's like, uh, uh, That's cute. Yeah, the, uh, the possibly evil one? Possibly, yes. That's a really great way to put it, because I don't think she... Anyways, continuing. Yeah, you um, guys broke up or whatever, right? I... No... Not really. She she just kind of um, found me again, which is really not that hard to do, mm. and uh, kind of threatened me. And um, wait, wait, wait. What type of threaten? I don't know. Oh. I think she's just gonna take some stuff away from me, which I really don't want her to do. That sounds like the worst thing she could do to you. I know because I. She gifted me with so many cool shit, like so much cool shit. Oh, she doesn't know about her house, does she? Oh, dear Lord, I hope not. Oh. I don't think so. Okay, well, what do, what, what do we do? What, this sounds bad. Um, so she's very upset that the orb is gone because it's um, left the plane and whatever. And but it wasn't your fault. That's what I said. Oh. I said it wasn't my fault. And she basically told me I'm a failure and um, I, I, I need to fix it. And I don't know how to fix it since the warp is not in this plate anymore. Do you think that means that the, the dwarves, dwarves destroyed it? <laughs> I don't know. But well, obviously uh, it's gone. Okay, so we need to, all we have to do is kill your patron. Oh God. What? I don't, I don't, I don't think that's possible. She's, oh. she, she came while I was, I was sleeping and she visited me, paralyzed me. Um, and we had a nice little chat and I, she's not she's not happy and I don't think there's really a way to kill her. Um, and I don't need those thoughts in my head. Please get them out because she'll probably read my, my head and I don't want oh. that in my head. Uh, okay, so maybe we should come up with a different way to, to make her happy. Yes. We'll but just how have do we... to keep an eye out for a magic item that she might like. That, what about that? Uh, what about that spell book? Aren't those guys done with that? Can, can we do that? Oh, maybe I, I could. Well, they need to hurry up with the book. Maybe that would be something that I could give her. That's a really good idea. I don't think she has any use for it, though, but oh. that would be fun to mess with the archon a lot that way. That'd be like, yeah, two birds with one stone. Yes. See, you are so smart. Okay, am I smart enough to go back to sleep? Sure. <laughs> no, like, sure. <laughs> like, okay, good night. Okay. <laughs> no, let's good. roll back over. Good night. And, and purr a little bit and fall asleep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Elzar says it, or I guess she'll try to go back to sleep but it's probably not going to be able to fall back asleep. Okay. Sorry, I didn't realize it was still muted. Um, okay, so uh, I think that was the last watch. So at this point, you guys would probably have um, uh, found yourselves in the morning. Uh, if I remember Aww. correctly, nothing, um, uh, nothing, <laughs> yeah, nothing happens. Um, overnight so yeah you guys are um you know about a day's travel away from Macomas. um you're on the uh, uh on the trail and what are we what are we doing this morning R real quick um mm -hmm. can i uh uh wait what was the term mind talk is that the <laughs> <laughs> can, I, brain, can I brain talk? Brain talk. Can I brain, talk. Can I, brain talk. Can, can I brain communicate directly to Azaris without the other people 
You can certainly keys. try. Yeah. Oh, so uh, Derek, when he like woke up, he'll like wonder if that was a dream, and then have that feeling that that happened. He'll, like, you know, he's like, "Hey, hey, is this working?" Trying to brain communicate. Do we hear it? Oh. Yeah, no, you guys can all. Yeah, you can do it individually. Just uh, Derek never tries, so I made him try. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, Derek. Like, uh, wait, wait, did I say Ileana? Oh, no, I just I, say we're just Elzaris. doing one person? Okay, no, that's fine. Oh, yeah, just Elzaris. Yes, uh, what? Hmm? what? That thing you told me, was that is that supposed to be a secret, or, or are we supposed to talk to our friends about it? Oh, shit, I didn't think about that. Um, I, I almost thought I'd go talk to them about it, but then if it was supposed to be a secret, that'd be a bad friend thing to do. Well, if we're going to take the book I read like I mean obviously I'm not going to steal it because that's just rude okay but when they're ready to dispose of it maybe we could like you know hey we want to like read it and then in reality we'll just gift it so okay. like like they'll be done with it and then we can have it and okay. not tell them what it's for so that part's a secret Okay, I do think there's something weird that happens to pages when they when they use it. Damn and it. we might have to ask them to stop doing that. And then they'll say, okay, bye. Over. Okay. She's gonna jot some things down in her journal real quick. And try to drink some coffee. Are we? Are we? Are we moving? Are we drinking? Or oh, I, I think uh, it's morning, so coffee time, breakfast yeah. chat. Yeah. Okay. So she's already drinking coffee and journaling. That's what she's doing. Everyone's watch go okay last night. <clears throat> yeah. Pretty unevent- uneventful. Good. Um. How about you? Or. Who, who took watch last night? Did we ever establish? <laughs> I don't even Didn't we go in twos? We all went in twos last yeah, night. Oh, oh, that's me and right. Lenick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay, Everything was fine. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm excited to get to a city. Hey. Right. <clears throat> came from a city. Well, we've been in the jungle for. Not the jungle, but. Oh, that's true. I mean, yeah, yeah we have been jungle. traveling for some time. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It'll be. Uh, it would have been be better if we didn't have, you know, the task of finding Sebastian's kidnapped mother on our hands, but... Ideally. Sure. Under different conditions, it'd be more fun, but... Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so, how are we planning on approaching uh, the city? Do you want to take a look once we're, you know, uh, we want to approach slowly from here? It's only day away, I think. Yeah, and also it's not like anyone's looking for us specifically. Right. Uh, no, I right. mean we're just going to the city. Yeah. I mean, if that's any, but any, if anyone asks us, "Hey, what are you doing on the road?" Well, we're going to visit, you know, this port city. We heard it was interesting. We have business there. Oh, yeah. Sure. Right. Yeah. yeah, that sounded real professional. Oh, well, that All was right. great. Oh, right. thank you. All right, well, um, I'll keep my ear to the ground without asking anything too brazen. Um, Do your investigative work. Okay, best I can. Oh. <laughs> There's <clears throat> things happening. I, something what is off. Mean? What? I I, something's off. I feel, I feel this is interesting. Continue. Wait, what's what's do you, what do you mean something's well, off? You can't just, yeah, I just, I just right, feel I'm something. You can't just be like, something's weird, and then be like, let something, me go back to my coffee. Yeah, something's well, weird with you, or something's worth less. With, with those two. And I Which point two? to Eliana and Linick. Oh, really? I don't know. I feel it. Yeah. So there's, there's a, there is, uh, there's a block there. There's something. There's a block. Yeah. Oh, tension. Something. There's tension. Tension. That's what it is. I f- that's there's no, I there's no tension between me and Linux. Uh, right. I don't, I don't think yeah. so. 
No. Um, but I'll, I'll pay attention to it if, if you're feeling something, and of course I'd hate to have that. And I'll look back over to Ileana and Elzar, so... Thanks for... for I'm not, I'm not I mean, feeling. I'm pretty intuitive about this type of stuff, so... Um, y'all, y'all can... You should, um... Well, it looks anyways. like it might be time of day for us to kind of start wrapping up things and, uh... <laughs> you know, get going. Is it, yeah. Is it, are you just uncomfortable with this conversation? Is that what you're trying well, I'm to just, me? I feel a little bit like in the spotlight <laughs> and I'm just not a spotlight person. Uh, okay. Okay. I'm sorry. Derek, um, you know what I mean by spotlight, right? I mean, you were I, in, you did theater. Uh, you um, know, I'm not bright sure light I... shining on me. Centered yeah, of attention. I... That's another oh. word oh. for it. Yeah. Sure. Oh, yeah. That. Yeah, you're not really into that sort of thing, I guess. No, no. Uh, okay. So, you know, I mean, I just, uh, and it's time. I think, you know, we can start getting things wrapped it, up. It is, back on it the is. Road. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, that sounds great. Uh, I, it's, so, it's, uh, yeah. I feel like I've been in a fog since we left Harasa. Mm. I don't, Sorry. I don't really remember very much about, sure. about what happened. You were very quiet. It was... Yeah, I just, uh, it was, it was, it's been hard ever, ever mm. since I left Marcia. She's just on my oh. mind all the time. Oh. oh, you mean it's been difficult for you. That's what you mean. Right. Okay. Thank you for that step. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I wasn't going to say anything, but uh, yeah. Don't dish it out. I, I mean, I, take it. I wondered. I... <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, it makes sense. Makes sense. You know, drink some coffee, get some breakfast, and that will help you kind of clear up your head a bit. Shock it off. Let's go save this kid's mom. Right, this lad. Yeah. Let's do it. Right. <clears throat> I'll pack up and get ready to roll. Yep. Yeah. All right. Uh, same plan. Uh, uh, same plan as last week, right? So who's doing what checks, survival, perception, all of that? Oof. All right, we have a day. Oh, but we're on the road, right? So I'm not it really going to. Yeah. I'm just going to f- do my thing with drawing uh, maps and any any animals and flora and fauna I can spot that look interesting or yeah. new. And and Derek is uh, feeling newly revitalized and will be keeping a careful eye out. Eliana will try to perceive as well. All right. Alex so- is trying to figure out what she's going to do next with this patron. Okay. Yeah. So she's All right. not uh, Okay. Sounds good. All right. So, uh, everyone, you guys know your checks. Go ahead and roll them for me, please. Sorry. Well, yep. That's what happens when I get a twenty for my. Mm-hmm. For my inspiration. Yep. Mm-hmm. Well, that's a five for perception. Oh no. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, Fifteen for. Oh no! Wait, it was investigation. I don't remember. Yeah, mind. you're. Yeah, you're usually oh. investigation. Okay, yeah. then that's a twenty-one. Stephen got a fourteen for perception. Thank you. Okay, great. And then Jules, are you helping or not? Uh, yeah. I mean, I just think I'm trying to get us there fast. So, mm-hmm. what would that be? Um, uh, yours was a survival check, please. Okay. Ten. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, all right. So, uh, let's see here. So you guys are making your way. It's pretty easy, um, you know, because you're following the road into Nokomis. Um, you are approaching uh, the city itself. There's no, like, uh, wall. It's not like a walled city. Um, it looks like it just sort of was uh, a small city and like slowly as you come down this hill you can see that it just like slowly grew and grew and grew um so it's kind of like haphazard a little bit um but it's a pretty large city about a quarter of the size of um the Cazadosian Pass uh and as you make your way in though um Ileana and Derek you realize uh, as you're looking down um the footfalls that you've been following on the trail um, are still along the trail, but you have somehow lost the grooves from what looks like the caravan wagons, um, and you don't notice any more tobacco. Oh. Well, um, 
flight update. Uh, I, I see the footfall still, but I don't see the caravan wheels. Ooh. And we're out of tobacco. <laughs> There's no more of the tobacco. Oh. I, I thought it was just me. I was nervous to say anything. No, no, I, I noticed it Ooh. too. Um, <clears throat> That's no good. Well, what what do you think we should do? I think I think clearly it was that that ca caravan that was carrying people with it. Um, um, can I get off the horse, Victoria, and kind of just? Take a look in the brush around the road uh, to see if there looks like that any of it's been disturbed, that something would have went off of the main road, like the carriage. Uh, yeah, sure. Go ahead and make um, an investigation check for me, please. Ugh. Something that's an 11. I mean, an 11. Sure. Yeah, it's an 11. Okay, yeah. 11, um... Uh, you don't see anything out of the ordinary. You know, you backtrack just a little bit. It looks like um, it, if something like that happened, you probably missed it a, a, okay. a little while ago. How um, far are we from the city at this point? Like a 15, 20 minute walk at this point. Oh, You're okay. just going down okay. around. Yeah, so but okay. you can see the city. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Can I specifically, because it's a caravan of people mm -hmm. mostly, can I. I, I doubt I can figure this out, but you know, can I see if there's just like a, a massive increase in, in footprints at oh. a certain point behind us? Like if maybe they just unload far out or something? I see. Uh, yeah, go ahead and make a survival check for me. Okay, I'll attempt it. Oh. Uh, 24. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, 24. <laughs> um, you will notice that there is some increase in the foot traffic, but um, yeah, I mean, because that's a good enough roll, but not necessarily as much as you would expect for the number of like caravan wagon wheels that you guys saw on the trail. Okay. So small bit. Okay. So I just had a, a computer charger delivered to me by a very kind person. So oh, now my wonderful. computer won't die. I'm like, wow. Yay! <laughs> I have a failing battery. I oh. forgot to bring a charger with me. So, I'm a dude. so okay. Um, so I guess uh, Derek will probably say, or look at Ileana and be like, do we need to, did we miss something? I mean, we might have missed the carriage going off, maybe back the road a bit, but I mean, the footfalls are still going forward that we've been following, so... I I mean, maybe they took the group into the town and then took the carriage off somewhere back there. Where, which do you think we should check first? Oh. I kind of think that we should just go into the town and just see. Um, and uh, uh, Derek will brain communicate to her. <laughs> I, th I think the others would be disappointed if we didn't go into the town. Oh, sure. I, yeah. <laughs> uh, she'll turn around to everyone. Well, I think that, uh, you know, since the footfalls are still leading into the city, we should just go in and see if we see anything, maybe. Um, if... Is it the same number of footfalls? If, if they have that many people in wagons, there'd be... Way many, many more footfalls leading into the city, right? Did they increase vastly? The, they, there are more, but it's certainly not everyone. So it's hard to say. So they've unloaded some, maybe kept the ones that they had as prisoners in the carriages, maybe. I suppose it comes down to if we're looking to gather information uh, in the city first, or, or looking to... I mean, if we head to the city, we can ask questions, but it might tip off that we're asking questions. It'd be the pro and con. Or going here, we might be walking into something rather dangerous. We might wish we had asked questions. Right. Uh, Alex, Jules, what more do you two think? I, I think, yeah, any information we could find would be good. Anything with that many people... Um, 
someone has to have seen something. Right. Yes. Agreed. Right. Tune it is. Yeah. Go toward town. All Let's right. go. All right. So you guys uh, head in towards uh, Nokomis, um, and you make your way, and you see that it's um, a bustling little port city. Um, it looks like it's mostly humans here, but you do see all sorts of um, different races, and it, probably more of a mix of races than you've seen in a lot of the other cities. It looks like it really is sort of this, um, especially where it is on the, the island. It's sort of this like center point for the rest of the archipelago. Uh, and it's um, like this one coastal city between uh, the Kazadosian Pass and all of Maldir. So um, uh, lots of opportunities for cross sections of cultures and things. Nice. Uh, so you make your way in. Where are you guys headed? What are you doing? Um, to the inn probably, or the bar. Mm. Yeah, I will note yes. that as since they've gotten back on their horses and started towards the town, Ileana Splen in her journal, uh, like kind of s- trying to sketch with her pencil, trying to make a what she remembered Sebastian's mother looking like. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Can you make a um, slide a hand check for me? Okay. Uh, that was a uh, fourteen total. Fourteen total. Okay. All right. <laughs> you're pretty. You're pretty happy with it. <sighs> okay. So. Yeah. Tavern sounds good. Yeah. I'm thirsty. All right. All right. All right. Oh. Yeah, you are. Uh, wow. <laughs> wow. 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 Called out. Um, Ooh, okay. <laughs> Jules, you've, uh, hey. you've been here before. Um, uh, is there anywhere in particular you'd like, to, like, do you have like a favorite little spot that you'd like to go to or do you like to try new places? Uh, I'll take them just to like the, the touristy place. The touristy place. Okay. Yeah. Great. Whatever the equivalent of like the rainforest cafe would be. Wow. <laughs> uh, you fucking uh, ass. All right. So fancy. Yeah. Oh my God. Nothing but the best for my so friends. So special. Hashtag yeah. triggered. All right. Let's see here. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So um, uh, Jules takes you to the Cross Swords. Um, you can see it's actually a really um, beautifully built uh, stone and wood tavern um and it's like a little bit grander than you would expect in in this city um but it's sort of built on this like outcrop of quartz stones so it just has this like air of um i don't know like it's a little bit more special than it actually should be for the area um and as you walk in you can see that uh it's built with a lot of like dwarven architecture very dwarven influenced um in its look, but it's it's bustling. It's pretty busy. Um, it looks like a lot of people in um, in traveling gear. Uh, so probably, uh, like Jules pointed out, probably a tourist stop more than anything. Oh, this place is interesting. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty fun. They've, oh. they've some good, um, you know, those like punch bowls. All right. uh, here they have good port. What's a punch bowl? <laughs> it's a it's a bowl where they just put like a mixed fruity alcoholic beverage, and then we all get a straw and we can all taste it. Why not just oh, put it in glass? Like, it's almost like a team building exercise when like it comes it? to drinking. Team building <gasps> exercise. Bring us closer I love together. this. I love this. We should we should no. do that and then play spin the bottle. So so what are we so uh, mind talking to everyone? What are, how are we approaching this? Are we asking just casually, just the waitresses, the person at the bar? Are we should we split up, divide and conquer, or should we just eat? Are we hungry and then asking, or what do y'all want to do? I'd like to eat. Yeah, let's have a snack. Okay. All right. All right. Sign uh, on the table. Yeah, so you guys find a table, um, and a, a young dwarven woman uh, comes up and says, Oh, hi, uh, how can I help you? Uh, do you have a punch bowl? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Punch bowl. Anything to, to eat with that? What would you suggest? 
I can bring you the special. It's a stew. Plate of greens. Sounds good. All right. Yes, and, and an empty um, bottle. An empty bottle. All right. Got it. Yes, please. Please. I'll be back. Thank you. Off. Why do you want an empty what's, bottle yeah, the empty of Zardis? Jess, you'll see. She wants to spin it. I do want to spin it. Are we playing <laughs> really here? No. We're playing spin Derek. the bottle right before we... Derek, no. why are you so upset? Mind linking, start asking about a, a child's no. mother that was kidnapped? No, I'm <laughs> saving it for later. Victoria needs to okay. straight up just let one of our quests <laughs> fail. Because we're playing spin the bottle. <laughs> yeah. Funny. You, we leave town. We walk into the woods. Yes, there's <laughs> definitely a freshly killed tabaxi woman here. Yeah. You <laughs> hear a shot ring one. out. Yeah. Moments before we arrive. I, look, why do you guys think I keep so many calendars in the back? <laughs> My it is concerning. It is concerning. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh shoot. It's, I'm just, it's, it's just for later because we all could have some fun and you know relieve was weird it was strange i mean it was fantastic and you didn't get to indulge in me so it wasn't bad it's fine well because it didn't land on sure i know it didn't land on you i landed on everyone but you i know and i don't think jules did, did Jules, did, did it land on me with you? I don't think it did either. No, it did. No. It did. Oh, it did? I kissed oh. everyone except Derek, I think. Oh. I, yeah. No, that's impossible because Ileana and Jules kissed twice. So it would have had to have been, it landed on both of them for both of them. Oh, are we talking about during the game? Yes. Oh, sorry. I thought we were just <laughs> collectively <laughs> speaking in general. <laughs> oh, My mistake. Shoot. Well, yeah, it's it's just something you know for for later for like celebration. Sure, and I fine. Yeah, it can't hurt to have. No, yeah, maybe his mom wants to play. Like we right. don't know. Right, that would be uh, yes. Mm-hmm. Wow. Um, yes, so... we should get the mom drunk and have her play games with us, and then we can deliver her back to the kid who's watching her house. Oh God, I hope he's watching the house. I. We're just going. We just need He's to. A good kid. I just. I just want some food. Well, they're 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 working on it. It's not too long after that they'll bring you out your food and your your punch bowl. Oh, during that time that we're waiting, Victoria, Ileana's going to excuse herself. I just need to step outside for a moment. Uh, just remembering to do something. Um, just gonna just uh, get my my sketch ready, but I I'll be right back. Um, she's going to step outside and give a quick uh, <laughs> give a quick call in to Rodrigo with her sending stone to let him know that uh, <laughs> she sent. Uh, well, we can I can say it. Uh, hello, Rodrigo. I forgot. I sent out letters two weeks ago there's an obvious question mark in her voice addressed no, return addressed to you uh, via me just call me if you get anything and then she'll go back inside uh, as you start to go back inside, you hear uh, Rodrigo's voice in reply. Um, Ileana, good to hear from you. No worries. My house is your house. You, of course, can have your mail sent here. I'll let you know if I see it. Okay. All right. Uh, she's saying that to herself and going inside. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm back. How's the sketch? All the groceries. Right here. I got it. I got the sketch, not the groceries. I have the okay. sketch right here. Excuse me. She sits down. Uh, what? Welcome back. Okay. Thanks. Should we? I mean, I'm glad to be in the house. Oh. Oh, uh, here. I show, show it. It's like a 14 on the sleight of hand. 
<laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. It was me uh, saying I was responding it. Uh, to a message. It's okay. Uh, yeah, no, it's, um, no, it's pretty, it's pretty good. You can, you know, it's a little, um, it's a little general to boxy, you know, uh, but you know, you can sort of tell that, it, that it's her. Yeah. Having seen her before. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, mm-hmm. looks, so looks looks like her, right? Uh, I think I got. Right? I think I got the likeness. I, I, when okay. she was alive, right? <clears throat> uh, she's still washing. alive. Oh, yeah. oh, no, just you know, we saw her when she was dead first, and then we saw her. Sure, no, alive no, 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 yeah. When definitely, time, so. I'm, I'm glad it looks like when she was alive and not when like when she was dead. That would be concerning. Yeah, well, you're messing um, the blood. Like if she was dead, right? What? Okay. Also, she what? was an elf. Uh, yeah. yeah, she was right. Sebastian. Correct. Sebastian. <laughs> I Correct. don't know that because I'm... I was also dead simultaneously. <laughs> <laughs> I'll uh, I'll wait until we ask some like, you know, casual questions before I whip out the sketch. Uh, she'll just fold it and put it in her bag. <sighs> All right. Let's try this punch bowl. Uh, Victoria. Yeah. Derek wants to uh, glance around the room and see if anyone uh, uh, is looking Hot. at a tabaxi with with recognition. Uh, <laughs> what was that eye roll? You are not allowed to roll your eyes that hard. <laughs> uh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, no, I'll just take the critical fail. I, I deserve no. it. No, no, go ahead and, uh, no, go ahead and... Um... Uh, a roll of perception check for what are you looking for? <laughs> I'm I just, sorry. I just want, no, I just, I changed my, I just want to know if there's anyone hot. That's all I'm looking for. <laughs> Scan of the bar? Yeah. Just, eight, just like around us. <sighs> yep. Throw a stone, Derek. Everyone's hot here. <laughs> this no. Dirty, dirty 20. <laughs> uh, dirty 20. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> It's a, it, there's some pretty good looking people there, you know, some that um, are to your taste, some that aren't. No deep knowns, unfortunately, with that dirty oh, name, but, you okay. know, Ooh. yeah. Okay, thank you for that information. Mm-hmm. You're welcome. Uh, <laughs> would you like to actually look for what you were looking for, Stephen? Do I get the same role? Yeah, I'll let you do this. <laughs> what, is, what is it that you're looking for? I, I just wonder if anyone, uh, if I if I get the feeling that people are used to seeing tabaxis around, or if I'm okay. getting side eye. Okay. Um, actually, that would actually be more of an insight check. I'm it sorry. probably would be. Yeah. Yeah, I should yeah, re-roll can you just it. Do a quick, yep. quick insight yes. check for me. Yes, I can. And it's a, oh my God, a dirty 20. It took wow. a different number, but yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, so a dirty 20 with that. Um, oh my God, you guys, Stephanie. Uh, Steph. Please answer uh, Steph's question. So out of character. That's Dan's job. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have time for this tonight. Um, okay, yeah. You, know, uh, you look around and... Sorry, um, no. Uh, you look around and you know you get one or two kind of like interested gazes but um surprisingly of all the places that you've been um they don't seem like you're not like a novelty we'll put it okay. that way yeah okay and and what about the side boob is there any side boob did i happen to notice tropical environment you never know sorry <laughs> i'm sorry no side boob okay thank you only lennox only one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, tools, because you've got that low cut tank top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Thank Guns you. out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just right. wearing a vest in this hot weather. Yeah. I'm going to immediately recognize what Derek's doing. <laughs> like, hey, man. Uh, <laughs> my God. What's the plan? Well, I was seeing if there was anyone hot or if there was any revealed body parts. Hmm. There are plenty of hot people, but all the <laughs> boobs are put away. All right. Anyone? Anyone catch your eye? Uh, no. No. No, no not really. Okay. I uh, I was wondering if tabaxis were strange fair here, but I don't feel that I appear strange. 
I'm, I'm sure you'll find someone who thinks of tabaxi as how you think of deep gnomes, if that's what you're worried oh, about. Right, oh. right. Oh, no, I, so I was just one. Goodness. Listen, everybody's got a thing, but I no. was more wondering. Oh, some, some people's thing is everything. That's true. Uh, I know. Yes, but I, I'm aware. Uh, no, I was just wondering if, uh, you know, if if I could figure out if anybody had seen his mom, and then I realized mm -hmm. that's a really silly thing to try and think from looking around the room. So, so you just decided to see if there are any hot people instead. <laughs> so you I got pivoted. distracted and so. I, just, yep, I did a quick a second quick priority. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Um, you know how you're looking around and then someone sees you and you got to pretend you were looking for something it was like the opposite of that <laughs> um uh after we eat and and uh, perhaps at least for appearances um get ourselves uh, you know rooms for the night we should probably walk about the city and see what sort of uh businesses are here and and, and how the city's laid out perhaps it'll give us an idea of who to ask questions to um and what questions to ask that's fair especially down let's, by the port right let's yeah, brainstorm over this punch bowl and then i'm just gonna like stick yeah. my straw in oh, and look start. at this yeah i, I mean to... are we uh we and then it's just straws he, he'll switch well there's to, one big uh, cup in front of us i'll sw switch to uh brain communication and be like so do we need to find out if there's some sort of human trafficking ring here I mean, I wouldn't. I wouldn't ask that directly. Uh, well, that's that's why I'm brain unit. Derek, I would. But... You know, we're just asking. Like, have you seen? Like, you know, uh, what's there? You know, to do in town? Uh, have you seen any uh, circuses move <clears throat> through here? Uh, mm. And just keep a lookout for any weird people. Mm. Mm. Observation. What, what if instead we dress Dan up? And made him interesting. Dan, and who is Dan? Who's Dan? <laughs> you know, it's terrible because he's just kidding. He's in costume. Do you have a uh, an imaginary friend named Dan? Sometimes I do. The weird name. <laughs> I don't know. I, th I think we just look around, try and find a shady a shady place, ask for the shadiest people, and say we want to buy Derek a tabaxi wife or something like that. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Oh, sure. Wow. I think that that sounds like. I mean, I don't just find nor buy. There's no. Well, no, because they need they need to know we mean business. Okay. Well, we better stay in a group then and expect to maybe fight someone because that sounds kind of dangerous I, I, I mean if they look at us and they think you know i mean they might see what we are and be like uh, I mean, I don't we don't think... look like cops or it'll be fine <laughs> perhaps well, I, I, mean, a I, I mean <laughs> yeah. i i i think that observation is our is our first, should be our top priority walking about acting like we've just just like we have we've just arrived we're we're here uh brand new we've never been here ask people um what places should we avoid what places are dangerous right we start building a list of of what's seedy and what's not um <sighs> and uh, oh. ask them some of those other questions we we uh went through this other town and heard about a carnival here do they do they yeah. play frequently we're looking for yeah. things to do what's fun and just build up our, our idea of what's in the city um over the next few hours don't want to take too much time and then then we yeah. can plan something to I I mean, you guys aren't worried about them being tipped off that there's a group of very able-bodied adventurers looking for a, a fucking carnival. I like carnivals. We can say that we have, you know, carnivals family coming great. to town. I think it's way more believable us. that we want to buy a person than it is that we're looking for a carnival. Well, if that happens, I'm either going to have to take off my armor and dress down or stand by the door and, like, keep a lookout. Because I do not look like the person that wants to buy a tabaxi for, you know, as a wife, I mean, or for someone Lennox else's could, wife. Lennox, you can talk the pants off of anyone. You should be the one to just say you're trying to buy your good friend Derek a mate. I don't know how, I don't know what tabaxi rituals are. So, I mean, the crew, they'll think the worst of me, I'm, I imagine, so being a tape. Oh. <clears throat> do you, I guess we should ask, is that, do you, are you okay with that happening 
Then I, Whatever I you have to do to get the answers, yeah, we're not. I mean, uh, as long as we're not actually buying a person. Yeah, we're not going to buy. We're <laughs> no, we're not <laughs> buying a person. It? Yeah. I mean, if we uh, rent them, that's better. Mm -hmm. I really don't want to waste the money on buying yeah. them. You'd be, I'm just kidding. Oh, <laughs> just say, like, we're looking to rent <laughs> a tabaxi for the night for possible... Um, <laughs> An arranged marriage, because that happens all the time. So to, to rent them for one night <laughs> to be married. Yeah, just a, a midnight. No, rainbow. I mean it could just be just for, a, you know, no. just for one night. I mean we don't you, have to yes. say be married. We could just say for the night. I really think we don't need to get. I don't think no. they're gonna ask what we're gonna do with the person we're buying. Uh, <laughs> Why don't we just I know. rent? I'm just saying the type of person who sells people probably doesn't oh. care what we do with said people. <laughs> Oh, rent hmm? to own. This is uh, a... To... We're not leasing a person, guys. Like, we don't need to... Yeah, Diana, take care of it. It's financially irresponsible. Yeah. 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 What if it's a no yeah, money down? Let it go. <laughs> <laughs> That's the biggest problem with it. Um, yeah. No, I, I think... So anyone that comes in is going to want to see the goods, right? If we're, if we're saying we want to pick a mate uh, for Derek. Control Derek. Right. Well, yeah. well, well, right. You'll have to, you know, we'll have to ask. For, but we should find... You can't just. We got to find the right people. Jules, you've done a lot of gambling, uh, are familiar yeah. with the gambling scene. Yeah, um, it's a little different than the slave trade, uh, but yeah. Certainly, but we want to. I think we want to find gamblers, find yeah. people that definitely find. You know the ones that are not just. <laughs> yeah, okay, go, you're right. right. Yes, I would be able to. Yeah, okay. I, I think that you'd find them. Hey, and but they'll know. They'll know. Yeah, and like worst case, if she's not there. We'll free some other slaves. We'll free right. some other people, and that's a win-win. Right. I think no matter what, we help someone. Exactly. And they're probably all attractive slaves. So <laughs> it feels wrong saying that. Uh... <laughs> it feels so wrong. <laughs> oh my gosh. Probably, right. yeah, probably. Eliana gives Lydic a pat on the Nobody back. Nobody sells uh -huh. ugly slaves, right? I guess. <laughs> <that's> uh... what... <laughs> this is free. Not y'all. Are being like this. <laughs> that's awesome. Eliana's been like. Just like taking a long draws from the straw from the punch bowl this <laughs> yeah. entire time. Uh, but yeah, no, I think I think yeah, I just think instead of you know beating around the bush, we should just find someone who's selling what we're trying to prevent. Perfect. Um, Are y'all doing that like like now or well, we're going to eat first? Food. Hey. Well, yeah, like, I thought that's what we were, like, we're actively, like, eating yeah. and discussing yeah. and looking weird sure. while we're brain talking. Um, <clears throat> I didn't mm. sleep very well last night, so I was kind of hoping to get a nap mm. before we, like, try to go bite people. I, I, well, I respect that. that if you while. really need it, of course we could do that, but, but it is a, a lad's mother that is in danger here. Yeah. Uh. I'm sorry. <laughs> So first we're getting rooms, right? Uh, for rooms, a cover? something to eat. We just want to be as natural as possible. That's what people looking to come through the city would be doing. So, Should yeah, I so. leave my armor in the room? <laughs> yes. No, no, why? No. Um, I mean, a, I just don't, I don't want to I look think suspicious. Think I think Lennox is trying to get you to well, <laughs> less articles. Who would not want to see Eliana <laughs> dressed down? It looks fine, of course. <laughs> Amazing oh, in your there armor. There it is again. But, <laughs> there it is again. There is something going on. Um, I feel it. Um, is it a disturbance so of the force? No, take off one. the armored or. I would. Yeah, we. I would, we can take off. No, armor. right. No. I would argue so because I mean you got that big <laughs> shield with the the hell symbol of I, I forget which deity it is there. I mean it looks very um, cop like. All of it. Um, if if someone were approaching me, hey, I'm just wondering where I can buy people, and they were, you know, yeah, no, full in I, full armor. I might be that's like. That's what I figure. So I figure we just, you know, all right, all right. I will leave the armor upstairs then. I, I really don't think. I think we're. You can just wear a fucking cloak over it. Like it's not. Yeah, I don't have. You a cloak. need to be ready to fight. But we're gonna that'll be, make me we're look. We're gonna be meeting with people who have slaves. They're not uh, gonna be um, good people. You're right. You know, we're probably gonna have to fuck them right up. <laughs> like we're not. And I think that that, well, two things as as ours. I think. First, um, you might be able to help Ileana with some sort of a disguise that kind of yeah. looks like she's wearing something, right? Okay. And second, really I think Elzar... Like, oh, good. I, I think you'd be best to go with Jules uh, because of your... Uh, you know, you're always very interested in money. Uh, and I feel like you could 
you're, you're a fine actor. So I think that you could go in and, and be like, oh, I, I need, um, loan me, me funds, but I need all this money and just act like a, a complete fancy person that doesn't know how to handle money. <clears throat> so like, like me, except I, except the, oh, except I'm, I'm spending it because I have so much access to it. That makes sense. So like the old days. Okay. I got this. Right. And that way they'll be more, more believable. Uh, they'll be like, oh yeah, get them in here. Uh, for the... Wait, Lennox, are you not coming with me? Oh no, no, I'll go with you as well. But I, I thought Elzaris would be our, our bait. I'll go in our, our mouth. Wait, what? I like where this is going, but I... <laughs> Wait, what? She's the one that's talking, right? Is that what, um... She's she's the one that's kind right, of talking to right, people. Right, right, the mouthpiece. Okay, right. Um, well, I think... No, she's okay. just the one that gets us into the, the big games with the extra shady people. She's got, you know... No. Okay. The money right. and the attitude. Because I'm fancy. She's okay. the bait. Jules and I are the master baiters. Uh, of course you are. Uh, okay. All right, so Here's and then myself and Derek will just kind of stand back and look and look, uh, you know, no, not I'm, suspicious. I'm not, I'm not you guys can be our muscle. Watch them I be masturbators. I we're don't over, know. we're overthinking of it. We're overthinking it. I guess it all depends on who's. Y'all could be, but... y'all could be my servants. <laughs> oh, what? Wait, wait, what? What was that? What was what? that? And then I run what, that by what, me what were you saying? I'm sorry. <laughs> no, what were you <laughs> saying? I don't yeah. care what I said. I done forgot what I was saying. There's a lot of... <laughs> uh, Derek, what did Eliana just say? I don't remember. I uh, So so we're going to watch you guys so many uh, things do being your said. thing. Right. Well, you can be Elzaris's sort of like hired guard, Servant. right? Servant. Well, I was going to take off my armor, though. Why? Oh. Why does people want to take off your armor? <laughs> <laughs> they no, don't understand. Because it's, cause it's different. Also, I'm just uncomfortable, you know? I mean, but you chain are just mail. wearing leather armor. No, I have uh, chainmail. Oh, okay. All right. I, I, yeah, I, I got my chainmail back. I forgot. Okay, so bodyguard just so we're clear, we're, we're, we're not just going to have a friendly transaction with some slave traders. We're, right. we're going to kill them. Probably. Oh, I thought we were going to have a friendly transaction. Yeah, I thought oh, no. that we were like... With the gamblers. With the gamblers. With the gamblers. Okay. But the gamblers yes. get us gamblers like, them? oh, hey, I'm also the slave trader. Okay. We have to be ready for that. Sure, oh, sure. Thanks. All right. Okay. All right. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll leave and change into armor if we're about now, to be in a fight. No, no. Okay. No, 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 no. Ileana stays in armor. Derek stays in armor. Y'all two are now my oh. bodyguards, and then Jules uh -huh. and Lydic can be right. like my um, servants. Done. And I'll dress all all up for the part. Okay. It's really easy. Oh, okay. All right. all right. But there's some ground rules, Elzaris. If I'm going to yeah. be your servant. <laughs> You um, have to act yes. like one, or else uh, this is not going to work. Uh, what what kind of servant are you talking about right. again? Like ones like like a handmaid, like a handmaid. Uh -huh. right. Hand jobs okay. only. Yeah. Not yeah. like not like the <laughs> servant that you had back at the house, servant. right? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Oh. My my, for, my, my wrist my hurts. Oh, <laughs> sorry, it's my wrist. <laughs> Can I just take a break? <laughs> Switch arms. Right. <laughs> yeah. Got, it's like another got stranger's come to join the party. Yeah. It's my left hand. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> as long as we keep it just uh, all right. This is fine. It's fine. See, yeah. it makes sense. Good. And, then, mm -hmm. and then, like, I think mm -hmm. I have a, a really nice. Yes, I have fine <laughs> clothes. And. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the only fans told me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> can't all great. Okay, we should probably finish up and get get going. Uh, yes. Um. So uh, everyone, artist, comes you're to going to help me look. Look. Wh what? Everyone comes to my room, and I will help y'all get ready. Okay. Yes. Everybody. All right. Yes. Well, one at a time. Now, I need all of y'all. It's better if I work on. Wait, tables. hold on. What do you mean get ready? What, I don't, guys. I think it's. I think no one needs to be disguised, now. guys. Right? <laughs> I, I think. No, I think. I think the plan was just to help me with my right. and possibly Derek with our armor to try and make us not look so um, just, just like authoritative or something. Yeah, I'll, I got this. You're you're, you're a worn <clears throat> bodyguard. And okay. Can I have a scar? Oh, fuck yes. Um, to look intimidating. Oh, God. 
I'll have one underneath my fur. Maybe a little bit of dirt. <laughs> okay, yes, yes. I no, like this. too keep much? Going. No, keep going. <laughs> you know, maybe some mud slung under the ice. That, that, well, I think I could do that. Yeah, dark brown. I have dark brown. Yeah, we can make this work. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then okay. Derek, I, I will pretend like you're, you've been rolling in dirt. Because um, you're my bodyguard. So I'm not. Like, I'm not. Listen, listen. I used to be okay mm-hmm. with that, but now with it, my fur it's gonna make me real uncomfortable. I'm gonna start licking at it. Like I think. It's. It's can not. Can I just be? Hard. Can I please be clean? You're making me really uncomfortable. That's. You can be clean. It's fine. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. just. It's mm-hmm. just. I'm gonna like. Okay. Maybe we can put an eye patch on him. <laughs> Can I wear your iPad? No. <laughs> no. That, that's insulting. <laughs> okay, well, just give me a scar and I'll be, I'll be fine. Okay. Cool. Right. And maybe a little mud on the cheek. Okay, I like this. Mm-hmm. And we're like maybe tousle your hair just a little bit, make it a little more like. Sure, tousle the hair. Oh yes. Okay. I'm gonna get something up. to eat while you sort out all the fine, fine, fine details of your. And then your skin. you'll right. come up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, where's the food? We, I thought we, we ate. We are eating. We we're ordering more food because I'm hungry again. Okay. Yeah. Because it's been so long. That's Dan. a fair <laughs> Dan. <laughs> Dan. Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, so go ahead and uh, Elzar is going to make your uh, sleight of hand check with. Um, you are proficient in. Um, okay, this guy's, yes, chat. I have this guy's kit. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. So, oh, I get advantage? Uh, you don't get advantage. You get oh. to apply your um, the proficiency, proficiency to it because you're proficient. I don't know what... Oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh God damn. Uh, Seventeen. Seventeen. Okay. Yeah. Um, you do a pretty good job. Uh, the scar looks pretty real. Um, you know, the mud's pretty easy. The tossing of the hair is pretty easy, but the scar looks pretty pretty on point. So. Okay. You're pretty happy. You're you pretty happy this. with it. You got it. Yeah, yeah. You look, you look like intense. Okay. All right. Maybe I'll kind of like put some hair over an eye. You know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. This is like my best work. Okay. Next. I want. That's all I want to do with. Can I? Can I tassel Derek's <laughs> fur? <laughs> Will he let me or no? Uh. He'll let you, but whether or not he keeps it that way. Curious. Okay. Well, she tries. Okay. Um. And then Jules and Lennox. She's. I don't know. Well, I'm fine as I am. I think. Yeah, I'm good. I'm right. good. Thanks. Okay. Okay. You just gotta play the role, and then how you do that is you do everything I say. Okay. It's really what? easy. What? I'll be back. Oh, I'm going to go downstairs. <laughs> I'm going to go downstairs. <laughs> I'm going to go straight to the bartender mm-hmm. and just kind of like lean in and say, hey, um, if I wanted to buy something that's not sold in stores, where would I go? So I'll give you a kind of a long look. Um, I'll, I'll throw like 10 gold <laughs> onto the. Uh, okay. Uh, make a persuasion check for me, please. Sure. 18. 18. Okay. Uh, yeah, they'll kind of give you a look for just a moment and then, um, put their, like, bar rag over the, the coins and scoop them up and tell you. Uh, sorry. I had something else open. Um. That there's um, a small little, like, nameless pub right outside the Fae Pavilion, which you know is um, this, like, uh, two-story, like, theater um, that's down kind of close to the docks. Um, mm-hmm. uh, go to that place, ask for Brutus. I'll Thank be you. able to help you get what you need. Appreciate it. Yeah. All right, I'll go back out <laughs> upstairs and I'll say, all right, we got to go find Brutus over in the, uh, I'm sorry, the Fae what? 
it's it's an unknown. He, he tells you if like he describes this like building, uh, and you know that that's like this like not named little okay bar that's like next to the Faith Pavilion, which is a theater. Faith Pavilion, got it. Yeah. Okay, yeah, all related information. <clears throat> yeah, we gotta go find Brutus. All right. Let's go Which find this Brutus. Like, if you're okay, time out. If you're named Brutus, you're not going to be a good guy, right? Like, there's no one. Right. Like, I don't just know. A bad I feel like you kicked and no. punched your way out. Brutus. Yeah, right. yeah. right. Inherently, it's a bad name. So, yeah. <laughs> Brutus. Have you ever met someone good named Brutus? I've, I've met someone <laughs> decent <laughs> named Brutus. Oh. They weren't the best. I mean, they weren't like amazing upright citizens, but he was a good soldier. I. You know, like to sleep with the women, but you know. Uh, what's Stephen? <laughs> <laughs> what the? You said Wayfair. Stephen, was that for us or is that for someone else? Like I don't. No, it was definitely for you. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's All amazing. Right. Okay. Uh, but okay. yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go find Brutus. Over here, and then also, I you know, don't don't write too tight of a script because they're gonna know for being fucking weird. I'm never weird. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna I'm just gonna this silently up. I'm just gonna put my hand on your shoulder <laughs> and then turn around and like leave the room. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go. I mean, should you you would know. I, I deal with more like this is not what do you want me to say something like is there a code like a code name what do you mean say something about when like what do you when like hey i'm in the market no no i i'd say i'd leave that part probably to jules and, and i can just back jules up <clears throat> the two of <gasps> us are pretty good with um speaking with folk you can speak on my they behalf are. right and I'll just look, um... Haughty. Royal. Full of yourself. Done. Aristocratic. No I need a you a haughty. I need... Thanks. I need a I, fan. Apparently side boob is in fashion right now. Just a consideration. Then I'm gonna do, like, my daily dice for a walk out. <laughs> Did not do be I... <laughs> Do I have <laughs> access to a fan, like one of those really like fancy fans, like? Uh, you have a disguise kit, right? Yes. All right, I will be kind and say there's a fan in your disguise kit. Makes I sense. Bust it. I bust yeah. it out. Yeah. Okay, I'm ready. Lead the way. Oh, it's like a mini oh. ghost. Oh, oh boy. Right. <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> All right, uh, so you make your way um, across town, closer to the docks, um, and uh, Jules brings you around to um, another, um, surprisingly for a lot of, uh, for the city being mostly human, um, another surprising sort of piece of dwarven architecture. Um, it's it's a darker theater, um, and uh, Jules, you would know that they actually um, uh, are known for their, like, dwarven tragedies and you know that's, that's like the thing that they do it's really it's a really like macabre sort of um theater yeah. uh, but you make your way around the back and there is um a much like an old first and last uh it's just this little hmm. sort of like shanty building um tavern that you don't see a lot of activity around um but you know that that's where you're supposed to head okay uh yeah, I guess we'll just approach it. Just uh, I'm going to turn around and say, guys, don't. Just be cool. Just be cool. I got this. Ileana's kind of... <laughs> we, all, we all put on sunglasses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> totally cool. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting my rolling, my rolling hands ready. Let's do this. Let's fucking do this. Uh, no way oh, not Jesus to be cool. Oh. Uh, so you step in. Uh, it is 
very dimly lit. The floors are, are uneven to the point where it's almost like you're walking a little bit uh, um, tilted. Uh, it looks like there's one patron that's in the back, um, no one at the bar. Um, there's like three tables in here, and, and that's about it. Although it looks like the the building itself goes further back than what the, the tavern area is. Um, and you see uh, behind the bar um, is an older elven gentleman. Um, looks like he's had uh, half of his face uh, burned away. It's pretty heavily scarred. Um, he's in pretty uh, dark and um, worn clothing. Uh, still handsome on one side of his face, but on the <laughs> other side, pretty, pretty backed up. So, um, And he just kind of stares at you as you walk in. We're uh, looking for Brutus. Oh, um, who's asking? Jules. What exactly are you looking for from Brutus? Something I can't buy in a store. We're told you're the person, or Brutus is the person. I'm cool. Uh, go ahead and make another persuasion check for me, please. With advantage. Uh, what what the hell did you say, Lenick? I was just I saying we're told. Of, <laughs> we're told Brutus is the person. We're told Brutus is the person. Mm -hmm. so we're, we're looking for Brutus. That, yeah, that's just, Lennox's contribution. That's we're it. told Brutus is yep. the person. Mm -hmm. yep. I don't want to step in your toes either. I don't know if I could even like, conscious yeah. give you advantage for that. <laughs> Disadvantage. <laughs> I'm so sorry, uh, Jules. I. <laughs> Yeah, just just roll that persuasion check for me. Straight. Ten. Uh, roll again, because I rolled a ten. Oh my god. I'm gonna let Lennox, Lennox, don't you have anything to add? <laughs> <clears throat> of substance. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> um, well, our, our purses are full, and we've been directed to Brutus to help us uh, unload our heavy burden. Hmm. All right, go ahead and make your roll at advantage. Sketch advantage. Sketch advantage. 13. <laughs> 13. Oh, your um, purses are full, huh? And you're asking about Brutus? Well, one of our purses is full, and I'm going to point to Elzar's. Well, not bad. <laughs> I'll give a sort of eye roll, too. How much is this um, introduction worth to you? The going rate? I don't know. Like, I don't, look, I don't know what Brutus has to offer. I don't know if it's going to be worth our time. Hey. Are you going to make it worth my time, I guess is what I'm saying. <clears throat> I'm looking at Elzaris. I can make anything worth your time, hon. Not into that. Gross. I wasn't implying. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Elzaris, I, I mean... Elzaris, did you see his face? How could you even... Can I... Can can I roll <laughs> to imagine what I think would be an appropriate amount of gold? Uh, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> what, what would it be? Um, oh, I thought you just wanted to roll like it. Uh, uh, just do an insight check for me. Okay. Fifteen. Um. Yeah, you probably think uh, a platinum or two just to get him to. Mm. Oh, okay. I thought yeah, it was gonna be yeah. way more than that. No, okay, no, no, yeah. no. He's just looking for a little bit, like you know. Yeah, yeah. No, I'll, I'll give him three platinum. Like, yeah, I'll give him three platinum. Three yeah, 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 yeah. for the pockets. Yeah. yeah. That's all. Sorry, that's no, I thought he was like for the face burn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No. Okay. <laughs> all right. Stay here. Be right back. And he'll disappear uh, back in the back, and he'll be gone for just a little bit. Um, yeah. He's gonna do anything while he's gone. It's gonna I, be at least five minutes. Yeah, uh, yeah we're gonna all like make jokes that? about his face. Yeah, <laughs> guys, his face is super fucked. Whoa, <laughs> oh. right? Do you guys notice how he wasn't hot? Well, it was well. It was like kind of, it was I mean, like he was at one point maybe when his yeah. face got. <laughs> he was clearly yeah. beaten with a burning ugly <laughs> stick. <clears throat> On that side uh, of his face. Oh. Lennox, Lennox, maybe you should take point on this. You're a little bit better at the... Sure. Great. Yeah. All right. We'll Don't do. be afraid to speak up. 
All right, right. I, I was worried I might um, step on your toes there, so I'll, no, I'll, no, no, I'll no. be more vocal. Yeah. Um, but all oh, right, and I'll say like you know mentally uh, uh, to everyone, uh, probably uh, Derek. I heard <laughs> I heard your first comment about his face is about. We should probably keep that on the on the on the, in the brain talk. Um, oh. Your brains brain spleen that instead of um, you don't you don't think he knows? I'm sure he knows. He probably just doesn't like oh. hearing it. <laughs> well, likes to be reminded oh. how ugly they are. Right. Oh, okay, that's fine. I just hopefully he can buy some ointment to feel better. That oh sure. Flat. I think it's a little past that. Probably. Probably. Uh, I mean, no spells. Then you can even it out to burn in the other half of the face, I suppose. But. No. You know, if it comes to it. Idea. It's all about uh, symmetry. Symmetry, yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If it comes to it. Maybe you could just burn like one spot on the other and then heal one spot on the other side. I'm gonna mute myself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying to follow <laughs> that. And... A little yin and yang. I get it, I get it. All right, uh, yeah. So um, after a little bit, uh, um, the elf comes back out and says, right, he'll see you back through those doors and he'll um, point you towards what you probably thought uh, you know looked like the bathroom but it, it's actually a, a door to the back um, um, may I incite the living F out of this that comment like a, just to get a vibe if we're walking in, if he's being truthful just want to oh, check and see sure. if we're walking into a trap. yeah absolutely uh, ooh alright that's I think I have a plus 8 to this but it's a 15 plus 8 yep so 23 23. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you feel fairly confident that um, it, while there might be people back there with Brutus, it's not like mm. you're walking into like an ambush or anything. Nice. Yeah. Okay. That, that he did set up the, the meeting for you. So. Thanks. I'll relay that on the telephone. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Mm-hmm. Uh, can I get uh, just out of curiosity, marching order, who's going in first? Mm. I'll probably go in first. Okay. Elzaris, and then, or, or probably Jules, one of the bodyguards. Elzaris, the other bodyguard, and I'll go in. I'll take. And then I'll go between uh, Elzaris and Jules. Okay. All right. Perfect. Um, all right. So as you all step in, um, you step into a room that's about the same size as the tavern itself, um, and you see uh, a table in the uh, in the middle of the space. There's a lot of like. You can't really even see the corners of the room. Um, it's pretty dark and shadowed. Um, there are crates and things back there, uh, very dimly lit. There's just um, like one little uh, poorly lit chandelier above um, the table. Um, and floating there, uh, just above the table, you see a male pixie uh, just sort of hovering in flight. Right, you wanted to see me? Who the fuck are you? Jules. Are you Brutus? I'm Brutus. I I do a little, like, curtsy, like, (laughs) just because I'm fancy. We're here with our, um, our good friend that, uh, is looking, has some relatively full purse. We're looking to, uh, buy some things that we just can't find in the, in public spaces, so. We've been told to come see you about that. All right, I can um, help you with your personal shopping. Uh, Excellent. Okay. But before we get into that, right. let me get a drink. And uh, as he pours himself a wee little pixie-sized uh, ale, uh, <laughs> we'll go ahead and take. That's we'll go ahead and take our break. <laughs> this be like like a little like a little droplet, right? Or yeah. like a shot glass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's this. That's yep. oh, oh my that's goodness! Uh, all right, so uh, we're gonna take a quick ten minute uh, break, and we will be back, team. Right. See you guys in just a little bit. Okay.
All right, uh, we made it back on time. You know, do you guys remember back when we took like 14 minute breaks? I do. I'm so proud of us. I do. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right, um, uh, let me just send this really fast and then we will get back yeah, into look, it. Yeah, look, gotta get back into my dim- intimidating role. Okay, yeah, right. That's nice. Okay, <clears throat> all right. So, uh, Brutus pours himself a drink uh, in his little, <laughs> his little mug. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> kind of hovers and um, stares at all of you. So, mm. what is it you're looking for? <clears throat> well, um, I think um, my friend Jules here knows uh, exactly what it is we're looking for. I'll let him describe. <clears throat> uh, we're looking for one of him. I'm going to point to Derek. Uh, did this particular uh, creature wrong you? Is it one in particular? Is it anyone? What are you looking for? What no, exactly? we just want to have one. Just want to have one. Yeah. I'm going to shoot, a, if, I, if I may, a quick mental message to everyone in the group. Should we say that we, we bought Derek? I'm like we've already bought some it's, it's a little late for that and they're going to tell that we're doing brain communication I'll see uh, to go back to are, are you in that business of... we procure someone if that's uh, what you're looking for hmm. right. uh, I mean we want to inspect the goods and such first of course. And uh, tell me, why is it that you want someone like him? <clears throat> well, this one, he's proved to be uh, <clears throat> quite a um, addition. Um, fits a number of our needs. We have a few other people that... Um, we service and uh, they like our friend here and adding another friend like um, him would only uh, I mean I can't get into many of the specifics but uh, it gives us an advantage in the work we do if we have I, uh, another of him don't need the specifics no no kind of like look you up and down and eye all of you can you make a deception check for me please mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, seventeen plus eight, so twenty-five. I mean, 25. If that's bless good. you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, okay. So yeah, uh, it takes him just a moment to you know kind of assess all of you. All right. I guess for the right price, I could get that for you. I'm a little light in specifically to Baxi. Although, um, we did have a shipment just come through. It's on the sea now, but I could probably retrieve a specimen or two. Well, if you don't have tabaxi, then, um, I'm gonna think back. And you're wasting our time. Um, Mm -hmm. mm. Or you're wasting mine. Where's the shipment going? It's going out where the rest of them normally go. Is that where we can choose and pick? How does this work? Yeah, I mean, you can either wait for me to get the uh, goods back here, or if you want to go after it yourself, I will give you the paperwork. Well, I mean, uh, Jules, of course, our advantage would be picking up a tabaxi, but it can't hurt to look at the others. Maybe we find out where, meet them wherever they're going and, and take a look at the rest of their stock. With how much we're paying, we should be able to pick and choose, so. Yeah, mm-hmm. we should look at the stock. All right. Um, uh, how far away? I mean, uh, if you can bring it back here, that sounds wonderful. But we don't want to add to our costs at all for having to return a ship or anything. We also don't want to travel seven days to go wherever it is they're going. How far away is it uh, that we'd have to travel? 
if we're going to meet them where they landed. They're two days ahead of you, and their destination is probably a day or so away. So. Oh. We've waited this long, long, we can wait a couple more. So bring them back, let's... you think, right? No, no, so, let's go. Let's go. To... Yeah. We should... All right. See what. Because there might be something else they want. All right. I mean, we have that other. The other. Right, right. We should look at all the stock. <clears throat> all right. Well, it'll be 5,000 for the paperwork and 5,000 when you get there. All right, I'll look at Alex. <clears throat> well, there you have it. I'll walk over to Ozaris. Oh, it's stupid. And the whole time I'm walking to you, I'm going to say, do you have the money? <laughs> She'll brain I'm gonna, speak. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk over to you, I'm gonna say, reach into my bag, pull it out. I have the money. And she does that. <clears throat> Drops it into Joel's hand and then goes back to fanning herself. Yep. All right, I'll walk back with 5,000 gold. Mm -hmm. Can I throw in an attempt to do this without looking suspicious a mental message and just be like, do we want to take action against these people here, like right after we get paperwork to get our money back plus maybe some more? then yes. pursue right yes. I, i'd hate to just leave it all right yeah. i'm ready you give what's the code word as, as you're walking up to get the money no no let's, let's finish the let's go to the i said we're, we're gonna go to the islands so let's wait uh yeah i'll hand him the money so um he'll kind of look look at you and indicate that you should put it on the table below him because he's a fucking pixie he's not gonna be able to <laughs> hold <laughs> five thousand <gold. laughs> uh, <laughs> I'll just like drop it. <laughs> nice. Okay, he'll just stare at you the whole time. And you see him sort of like nod, and as he nods, because all of your passive perceptions are so crap, uh, he's sort of this uh, shadowy um, elven figure come out of one of the corners oh, damn. and uh, pick up the, the gold bag. You know, he's dressed all in black. You can't, his face is obscured, um, or their face is obscured. And um, they pick up the bag and kind of jingle it around and look at it and nod to Brutus and um, pocket it and uh, disappear. Can all of you make active perception checks for me, please? Mm -hmm. Ooh. Terrible. It's a 20 14. for Ileana. Yeah. 20? 14? 17 okay. for Leonard. Six. Six. It rolled at the last second. I'm mad. Mm -hmm. Uh, 14. 14, okay. Yeah, uh, he disappears in the shadows and you don't really see where he went. Um, okay. All right. Looks like we're good. I'll, uh, pull together the paperwork. Give me an hour. No, I have everything you need. All right. All right. And you just to clarify, is the paperwork for you or for your your partners, or is it for the city? It's not for the city, no. It's so you don't get your ass killed immediately when you arrive. Okay. All right. Well, it's been a pleasure doing business. Sure. We'll, we'll see, see how this around. goes. See if we can do business in the future. Here's the whole No, Chesterdale's yeah. RS like... Yeah. You uh don't need to come back and see me. Just uh go back up front in an hour. It'll be waiting. Alright. Right. Mm -hmm. I'll follow everyone out all right. when you're ready. Uh, so you all make your way out of the back room, back into the main tavern. There's still that one patron in the corner, the elf um at the bartender or as the bartender and what are you guys doing? You got an hour. Uh, okay, guys, I have an, I have an hour. We have an hour to produce five thousand gold. So I can busk as a as a street dancer. 
I've done that before. Oh. Oh, take that. No. Ooh, How much gold uh, do you have? How much gold do you have? I have a thousand. <laughs> I have... We're going to get it back. 800. I have 2,000 that I can give. I have... Um... I'll look at Derek first. I have almost 400. Um, okay. I've got 2,000 as well, so... That's... Okay, that's enough. All right. All right. I'm uh, okay. I won't uh, deduct it yet. I'll wait till we leave. Are we still in the bar? Did we leave the bar? We're outside. I feel like we're outside. Oh, okay. I. Ah, uh, that was really not. That was a lot. Right. No, it was super yeah. fucked up. Uh, yeah, I also think it would have been better I without just armor on. Feel <laughs> yeah. dirty. I know. I know. It's a yeah. Well, life. I mean, yeah. the good thing is. Is we're gonna stop them. That's right. Damn right. We should probably talk about that. I seeing oh. or knowing that they're sending a sh- that they have them on a ship. They're sending them to a place from a ship, so obviously right. it's offshore. Mm-hmm. Three days away. I yeah. feel like we need to try our best. As much as it pains me to say this, I have a feeling that we're going to be really outnumbered. Hey. So, look, the important thing is that we get Sebastian's mom. I understand that there are other people that need rescued as well, but we have to maybe have two plans here. Depending on what we see when we go in, if we think we can take them, if there's not a whole bunch of them, then go for absolutely I'm for it. But if we think we're going to be outnumbered, we need to have a second plan of just getting her. We pick her. And leaving. She'll be our purchase. I don't like it. That's fair. But, I at mean, all, but right. I also don't. I mean, of course, I don't want to die. But then also, no. I want to get the mother, if she's still alive. I want to get her back right. to the child. Yeah, we can't help but... any of them if we're dead, right? So we can always come back and straighten them out later if we right. need to. Right. And they're just we... pirates. I'm not too worried. We'll see we... how many. If there's, of course, if there's like 200 of them. Yeah. Well, we're only five like people. Right. What's that? I said we're only five people. Right. Until we free some slaves, and then there's a bunch of us. If they're, they're strong, be... if they're strong enough to fight, yeah. and if they know how to fight. I think. We can assume. Not they'll, they'll find some inspiration. <laughs> I trust they'll they'll find some inspiration in being freed. But they might not be strong enough. The uh, jewels. We, we can assess that when we're there, though. I, th- I think we'll have time. I'm sure they'll have us uh, take a whole grand walk and process us thoroughly before we can make the rest of our... our yeah. Or something. I'm sure I'm sure we'll have some time just to look about and see what our options are. Um, I mean, we can always go back to... There's so many options. We can go back to the assembly after and say, oh, some of uh, your assembly peeps, uh, well, they've been stolen by these pirates. We found out where they are. Mm-hmm. Here's their contact. Here's their island. Leave sure. it up to others as well. But hopefully we can do it ourselves. But I, if not, if it's too dangerous, we buy her. We buy her freedom. And we've been talking. Sorry, just to clarify, we've been talking in our in our minds, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I have. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no. I think uh, we should, at the very least, prepare for a fight. We'll have to tell Sebastian's mom that that's strike two. She has to stop getting herself killed by dragons and stolen by pirates. The, thir- the third fair. one's the, right. The Out. third one, she's on her own. Right. <laughs> and you start charging. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. Uh, is there anything else you want to accomplish in this hour? Not I. 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 Not I
Uh, well, I'm gonna pull together our gold. Hold on, I'm gonna type this out. Elzaris is 800. Derek has 400. Mm -hmm. I have 900. Okay. Okay. So that is 172100. Uh, then we can just take 1500 each from. Uh, okay. Lenik and Elzara, or yeah. Lenik and uh, Ileana. And then you do know that that uh, that five thousand is n you don't have to pay it until you get mm -hmm. to. Yes. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, it's like when we land. I assume they're yeah. gonna want it. Like, yeah. I'm gonna okay. remove it. Like I'm gonna pretend I'm giving it to you now. I'm gonna remove yeah, it from too. my document. Yeah. So me too. I'm giving you 150 platinum if it matters to you, which in which manner I'm. That's yeah. Uh, and Zaris is gonna remove the 800. And like you know, doesn't want to let it go, <laughs> but then drops it in your hand. It looks sick. Money. Poor Sebastian. <laughs> yes. Slavery. The cost of slaves. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry, this is fine. <laughs> oh my god. You know what the worst part about yeah. slavery is? They're, yeah. they're too damn expensive. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Apparently it's fucking Serve it. Yeah. Serve it. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Alright. Mm. Right. Yeah, Sardis, yeah. did you have to buy? Did you buy your slaves similarly? You uh, never had them. Did you? I mean, your servants were they? Yes. Were they bought? No. Like this? Were they bought from oh. a store? No. An island? No. I mean, I'm just asking. I don't. I've never had servants before, so I don't know how any of that works. No, no, it's a job. Like we have so many jobs. Like, have you oh. ever tried to maintain a castle before? Like, it's really hard. No, I've never had to. I've well, never been asked to. It looks really hard. And I've had. Um, to yeah. To servant. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So servants would come in and ask to, you know, for work. Oh. So we paid them. You know, oh. to up, upkeep the, okay. the castle and mm. the grounds and the stables well, and the gardens. That's and uh, winery. Do you, right? That's come. Oh, uh, and the cellar. Eliana will smirk at Linux. I. So yeah. Uh, well, that's comforting. <laughs> I, I was just I wasn't sure. Yeah. No, I don't know of anybody that eyes like this um it's usually people within the town that need work and um we have to vet them of course make sure that they're that they're okay and not just after all of our money like steel wise sure and um you know a lot of them have been there for a really long ass time or they had nowhere to go or no family no nothing and so we took them in and yeah Okay. All right. Just wondering. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I guess we just wait around until uh, time. Yeah. All right. Sure. Is there anything you guys need to do? You know. Well, we don't know when when the boats. Uh, what? Wait. What? Battle wise, like, is there anything, any spells? I don't know. You want wait. What do? Or... I'm I'm going in this planning that we're probably gonna fight. We should be ready to fight. Why so are we anything... fighting this guy? Just in case. Which guy? I'm we're, sorry, I'm confused. We're just we're we're. Uh, oh, it takes a day to get there. Sorry. Right, we're collecting. Yeah, we're collecting the thing from the front of the from the front of the tavern. Yeah. Uh, or whatever this place is, and then we're. Yeah, it's gonna take, and we don't know when the boats leave. And we don't know if it's leaving tonight, or to or right now. So we'll have to wait and see. Right. Right? They didn't yeah. say what time the boat was leaving. I'm assuming that's going to be on our paperwork. Uh, to, just to be clear, uh, they're not providing you a boat. They're saying that the ship went out and you've got oh, to find your okay. way out. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I did, it's I two days ahead of you and it's I got to pick that up. Yeah. And it's got another day or so's travel to where it's going. So you're about three days away. Do we know where we're going? Like, do we know what the place is called? Uh, not yet. Okay. No, all right. Yeah. All right. All right. Yes. Yeah. 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 Not yet. Um. Okay. All right. Anything else? Uh. I. I don't want to give you proper nouns before Dan gets back, but I guess you guys can fill them
he won't listen to us anyway. Yeah, so. that's true. Yeah. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. So uh, you head oh, back in. <laughs> um, uh, okay. Uh, so, like mm-hmm. um, all right. So you um, uh, head back in, and uh, the uh, elf um, just sort of hands out like this sort of sealed uh, collection of paperwork and says. Everything you need is in there. Thank you. Mm-hmm. You're welcome. I'll just take it. Okay. Right. You guys gonna look at it now, or do you want to um, wait? Let's go to the docks and ride a boat, and then once we once we're on the boat, we can look at it. Oh, we have to. We don't know where we're going, so we have to. We need information. Mm-hmm. No, that's fair. Take also, we don't have a boat or a crew. <laughs> that's why I was saying we're going to the docks. Mm-hmm. Or money. We have money. We have, money we, have a ma- we have a magic boat rock, though. Do we? Or, or we have one thing. One, yeah, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. I think it's. Is anyone on a sail? Yeah. I do. I do. Oh. But like, actually. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I was just checking. <laughs> she just looks let's, at you like matter of factly. Yeah, like, I thought let's we had see this where chat. we're going, okay. and maybe ask if we want to do that, maybe ask and see what kind of waters we'll be running into on the way there, because right. as much as I trust Oxardus is sailing, I just want it to be... I mean, safe. like, a, not a, not like, don't make it like, like a ship. Make it like a boat. Um, what? Well, that whatever, on just, just a sea. water vehicle. That's not a we'll huge We need a test. way to, like... If it's just for well, right. Let's ask what the waters look like. Because if we need yeah. a grand ship, I don't think our our stone boat, boat stone, yeah, might will do the trick. Um, yeah. But if it's safe enough to use the boat stone, then that saves us, I'm sure, a good chunk of money. So, but let's find this a spot to duck off in and look at this uh, document. I'd say first to figure out. Yep. Um, all right, so you duck off um, into a corner. Can you guys just make a quick stealth check for me, please? Stealth check. <laughs> oh, I have a plus four in stealth. Uh, nine for Lenik. Nine. Fourteen. Fourteen. I'm not rolling good. <laughs> oh, that's right. Nineteen. Uh huh. Nineteen. Oof. Same nice. number. Okay. Uh, that's a nine for nine. Eliana. Jules. Hmm. Uh, 20. Hmm. 20. Alright. Yeah. Averaging, averaging. Okay. <laughs> Calculating. Alright. Okay. Um, alright. So, uh, you duck back into a little alleyway. Uh, feel fairly confident that no one's going to really notice you. And, um, you open up this paperwork. And it looks like, um, you know, it's, uh, there's like some seals and, um, signatures. I know that Lennox and, uh, Elzaris, I don't remember if Jules um, speaks Thieves Can or not, but you can tell that there's some like Thieves Can um, that is written in here. Mm-hmm. You may not, um, it, it's a little unfamiliar. It looks like it's a very specialized uh, version of it, but you can tell that there's like a coded message in here about like what it is you're looking for and uh. and, um, and everything. So um, the three pieces of information, which I will copy and paste into the, the chat as well, so you don't have to oh, um, thank you. guess. Um, it pretty much is telling you that you need to sail to Red Bones Bay. Um, and when you arrive, you need to pay your respects to the Sea Wolf. Um, after that, you need to find the ship uh, called the North Mage Demise, and ask to speak with Captain Artavius to complete the transaction. So let me. That Haven't end. we heard of Artavius before? Uh, You've heard of Red Bones Bay. Would you um, like to make a history check? Yes. Uh, okay. Jules can go ahead and make a history check. Oh, shit. <laughs> what? Well, the sea wolf, that's the, uh... Yeah, the, that's yeah. the big one. That's the pirate. Mm-hmm. The legendary pirate. That's so exciting. Uh, oh. Oh. Uh, yeah. Eliana's gonna get out the map. The, the drawn map of the coastline that she found. Does it look does it have anything like written that makes sense like does it have red bones bay written on it or anything 
Um, it does not. Okay. Um, okay. It does not. No. Okay. We do oh, have. And this. I rolled a nineteen for history. A nineteen. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah. It. That doesn't really sound familiar to Jules. Mm-hmm. So, nope. Does no one else want to try and? Remember what is it here? Perhaps it's from a time before I met you guys. Have you guys heard of that name, Captain Ortavius? I could, uh, I could try, try but... and I'll try and remember. His is that just history? I don't want to. Yeah, wanna... just history. Uh, ten. <laughs> anybody? Anybody else? Is no one else heard of Captain Octavius? Does that bring a bell to anyone? At 20. Yeah. It is rolled a nat 20. Octavius, Octavius. Uh, nat 20? Yes, ma'am. Okay, give me one second and I will send you a message. Mine was only a 10, too. 10? Yeah, no, nothing for you. (laughs) 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 It didn't meet the initial criteria. (laughs) Yeah, that's what I think. Oh my god. Um, okay. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. How dare you? <laughs> Artavius. No, it just doesn't bring a bell. I think maybe it was some sort of captain or something. Uh, we know that, Derek. <laughs> Oh. Do you remember but thank you. A, anything um, about that name? No, I don't. I, nope. It's like it, it seems familiar, but I just can't. I can't place it. I have suddenly oh, remembered. Thing. Oh, you you remember, Alex? Yeah, yeah. I don't know how y'all forgot. Oh, right. That's loud. Sorry. It'll be done in a second. I promise. That's oh, angry, <laughs> Tasha. Oh no. Me nuts. Um, yes, so um, Captain Octavius, the captain of the Maiden's Gym. No. Do you remember the Maiden's Gym? No, don't tell me he's not mixed up in uh, this. The ship, the ship no, that um, I came over, that we came over on. Um, but I don't know if it's the same one. Great, we came, uh, we came over with a slave owner, with a slave dealer. That's oh, perfect. Sake. Perfect. And he's gonna know, well, not Jules, but he's gonna know the rest of us then. Mm. Were we really that memorable? We got in a fight with those crazy fish things, and Jefferson died to save us. I know, but that's that is memorable. <laughs> no, no. I could take my <laughs> eye patch off. We'll have to yes. get disguises, I guess. <gasps> I can help with that. Like something other than just, you know, hair and a scar. Uh, we'll, uh, look, we'll need, like... You don't yeah, trust me? You can't just me? put dirt on us. You don't trust me? No, I do trust you. I mean, just, like, it, I'm just, I'm just, mm-hmm. note, I'm just saying that it's going to have to be a, a step up from just my hair over my eye and a scar. Yeah, okay, For okay. all of us, mm-hmm. except Jules. Uh, uh, well, and... Well, and Derek, because Derek's yeah, a tabaxi right. now, oh. so just the three of us. Well, why do you have to? I don't get it. Why You're do you have right. to dress up? In fair, we because could have been, uh, Captain because... Octavius could recognize us from the trip over. I mean, if he sure, does, but I if he changed, why happen. couldn't you guys change? Right? Or I don't, maybe we I'm were not sure. Like I'm not one. sure that they changed. I'm. I mean, we didn't know them that well. We just saw them. He doesn't uh, know if we're the type of people that buy people. So, this like, oh, hurt. that boat! Like, yeah, we came here for the slaves. You know? I'm hurt. What? Did you get I could you not... totally fix this up. I have a galaxy I, eye now for crying. I out loud. think I would like to still be fixed up, artist, just in case. I know I can fix. I have, I have cosmetics. <laughs> I I can change your hair color. I have, to- like a bunch of different props. I, like my hair color. I, I think Jules' point is I probably don't need it. He doesn't didn't know any of us personally. And, and thing. people change. He obviously changed. Just look it's at Elzara. She, she, you know, it was only a few weeks ago that she was um, 
just in such a tough spot with her with her patron, and now here uh, she is, sort of coming to, you know, coming I'm around. I'm not sure that it's that he's changed, Jules. I think I have a feeling he was probably like this the entire time. We just didn't know. But what's stopping you guys from being like this the entire time? Exactly. I don't want to be like this the entire time. I You're, not right. You're not, Ileana. You're not. For the, for the better of, a, of these captured people. All we're doing is going from A to B. Yep. That's all we're doing. Okay. All right. Please let me change your hair color, and then we can change it right back. I really like my hair color. Okay. But thank you. Hmm. What, what if you parted the other way, and maybe wear, like, glasses? That's, that's you know... That's a good. That might that might guys. look better. I mean, I've I've seen it work. Golden in other... up the hair a bit. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If you part it, it's like. Yeah, that's that's strange. Were there any maps, sea maps, or anything we can reference to get an idea of where we're going? Well, I have this, this map. The one that I found on uh, the on uh, the ground. Um, anything in the packet we got? <laughs> nope. Okay. Um. So if we, uh, let's go down to the port and maybe ask around and see where this uh, island is, maybe. Uh, or maybe wish... just find a map. Maybe we can just find a map and see if it's on a map. Well, let, let's see in the document if there's anything about, um, and I'll look and see if there's anything about someone in particular we're supposed to talk to at the port. Hmm? Nope. Okay. Nope. It literally just gives you a pass when you get there to go oh. talk to the sea wolf and... Yeah instructions on how to get your information. You are on your own for the rest of it. Okay. All right, so let's go down to the port. All right, let's go ask where this, um, <clears throat> our uh, Red Bulls Bay is. No. Okay. Right. Walk with everyone. Right. Uh, Jules, should we ask someone in here? Like, are we going to raise suspicion being at the port and asking about Red Bones Bay? Yes. it has a reputation. Hmm. So should we ask someone here at the tavern? Like About what? I'm sorry. What are we? About where Red Bones Bay is. Like how far it is. Did they not sorry, did they not give us a map? No, no they didn't. We're on our own. Oh. They probably yeah, won't we'll tell just us. Go on. We're Can't hurt, right? Yeah. We'll go buy a map, maybe. Hmm. If it would have Red Bones Bay even marked on it though. Well, but if, we can try. I don't mind heading back and asking, and if no one's going to tell us there, um, then shopping for maps. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, so you want to go shopping for maps on your way to the port? Is that what we're doing? Uh, no, we're, we're, I think that Ileana wants to go back to where we just got this package to see, to ask them if they'll tell us any more details on how to get Oh, there. okay, so you're going to go back in and talk to the elves? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And if okay. they don't have it, then we'll go shopping for some maps. Okay. All right. Um, so you're going to head back in uh, and you see him sort of like look up from the bar. Did you um, forget something? Oh, yeah. Uh, so we got our information. Uh, we just we're not sure how to get to our destination. I don't suppose. I don't know if it costs extra or anything. If, if we can have said information on how to get where we're looking to go. I don't know if you know where we're looking to go, but. So you're, um, looking for what? A tour guide? Uh, well, just, uh, how to get from here to, uh, um, Red Bones Bay. Oh, um, of course. That's, uh, free. A boat. Anything else? Nope, I think that'll do it. Are we traveling? Okay. <laughs> Thank you for your time, friend. Mm-hmm. I'll give him a little bit of a stink eye and, and turn to walk out. <laughs> was it successful? Oh, no, no, no. I was... <laughs> <laughs> nope, I wasn't going to tell us anything. Just gave uh, some lip. That's all. Wait, he didn't tell us how to get there? Oh, just uh, uh, said a boat. Clearly not part of the deal. Do you have another idea, Jules? Yeah, I'm just... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go talk to him. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, I'll just walk in. Yes. Is your little pixie 
fucking friend going to be upset when he doesn't make his other 5,000 gold? He's gotten his half. Oh, so it's not like he gets anything for us going over there? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, it was a little something, but that's none of your concern. Okay. Well, we're trying to complete the transaction, so why don't you just help us? I got... Do you want that to be a persuasion check or an intimidation check? It doesn't. I mean, intimidation. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Go ahead. 19. 19. Okay. Kind of looks at you for a minute and you see just like a little something just kind of pass over his eyes, like uh, trying to decide if it's, if it's worth it or not to keep quiet and assist you. Look, you're not going to find red bones pay on any map. You should know that. But if you hire the right crew, they'll get you there. Or ask the right people at the docks. I've never been there. I can't give you directions. Brutus has never been there. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll turn around. Uh, was where was, was he just like sitting at a table? Well, he's a bartender, so he was behind the bar. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. I'll just like knock over a chair on my way out. I'll just like... Just reach wow. over to slap it over. Nice. All right. All right. The DM will remember this. <laughs> and if in Jules. Uh, yeah, he doesn't know where it is. That's why he's. Oh, that fucker. Did you he's ask about the map? Should we go uh, map shopping? He said hire the right crew. It's not going to be on a map. Oh. He said they, 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 they don't. That's what I figured. Yeah. Well, You're not go. going to. Advertise an island that has something to do with slaves on it. Yeah. Well, now the problem is anyone who's going to take us there is probably going to be upset when we fuck their operation up. Do you and think probably will require I... funds that we don't have? We have to trust well, them. I we s- have gold. We have plenty of gold. It's not that far. But... Have some. I... Yeah. Um, do you think it would be best to uh, try and just get the information from someone at the docks or someone that could sell us and then try and use our, our s- stone our boat? boat? Yeah, actually, that might be better. I'd rather rely on us uh, on Plus the sea for three days. Later, right. So. right. That way, when we flee, we don't have to worry about... Also find out what the waters are like going there. Yeah. Alright. Um, well, hopefully we'll be able to pay someone, but... I Maybe mean, if we just sorry. have one person, right. you know, be a guide and right. go with us, well, and then like not an entire crew, right. if we have to. That's how I'm thinking. See if we can shake Oops. someone loose on the docks. Yeah. All right. Head over to the docks. Okay. Uh, so you head down to the docks. Um, it's like early evening at this point, um, you know, because you've worked your way through the mm. the city uh, throughout the day. Um, so it's busy uh, as people are starting to go home. Um, mm. You can see that there's like the dock masters building, uh, you know, like the main building, and then there are several like smaller buildings and um, uh, quite a few large ships. Um, it looks like this really is a, a main port for the the island. So ships of all different sizes. And, things mm-hmm. uh, what exactly are you guys looking for while you're there i think we should talk to the, the harbor master if there's anyone coming and going through their docks to redbone maids i'm sure they'll know about it and yeah. be paid or threatened or whatever they'll be privy to that information yeah oh also sorry guys i didn't mention this uh they're not actually connected with uh redbone bay they just Oh. Sell information. Oh, so fun. if we want to get our gold back, we could do it after we hire someone. All right. Just go back there and get a refund. <clears throat> I like it. <laughs> Is anyone opposed to that? Derek? What, are you, what are you suggesting we do? Take our money back. Why? We paid for a service. 
Because it was a lot of fucking money. It was, it a, was lot a lot of money, of, and, it's, but and it's a really bad person. Are you wanting to take down the entire tavern? Like what? I think oh. that wouldn't hurt. Remove that yeah, element from the, the city. Or do you want them to keep selling? I don't want them to keep selling, but I'm also... We have to gauge what we're up against. Well, this would be a, a weird a face. And, and, a, uh, an, an and just because... Just because they're not connected. I mean, did... I have a hard time believing that there's no way that they can contact wherever we're going. So I if think they this can... would be after. It, it could be before, but they don't know how to get there. Right. But doesn't mean that they don't have contacts with someone there. A sending stone, some kind of sending spell I... to let them know, hey, even while we're fighting and before we get to kill them, hey, they're on their way. It might be best to do it when we get back if they're still here. If they're not, then we've rid the city of that element already. We don't yeah. want to That's sabotage fair. the entire operation just because of bravado. I don't know if it's bravado as much as just I don't. Yeah, I don't me. think they're good people. No, no, they're not. I, th I think the world would be better if that operation was closed. Right, and if we get our money back in the meantime, all the more people we can help in the future. Yeah, and I take my money. I realize we only made promises to to one person, but. It's unlikely she's the only parrot separated from her children. Absolutely, Derek. Absolutely. And that's Pixie's I, a big I part hope I'm not them. being misunderstood that I don't want them to die. I'm just saying that we need to be careful. I. Well, we I do it when we get back then, right? Yeah, we'll we take care of our back. business. And then if they're still here in town when we get back, they can message whoever they want. Because we'll have already freed uh, Sebastian's mom. And hopefully many more. D does that sound alright, Eliana? If we, if we, a little better of, of a plan, a little wiser, perhaps. I just want it to be on the menu. Yes. Fighting them afterwards, sure. All right. If okay. we're still alive. I. <laughs> um, Jules, do you have a good eye for? I mean, I guess we're talking to the harbor master. It doesn't matter, right? We'll talk to them yeah. and see. Go from there. <clears throat> right. I'll head into the Harbor Masters. Bin all right. That's open. Um, all right. So you uh, head in and you can see that it's bustling, um, but uh, it's more people are coming and going. Um, not a lot of greeting, but you do see that uh, behind a desk in the back half of the um, uh, back half of the room, there's um, a half elven uh, woman looks pretty um, uh, sun kissed um, from, you know, years at, on the dock. Um, she looks like she's deep in paperwork. Uh, probably the person that you need to talk to. Uh, well, um, <clears throat> pardon me, um, ma'am. Um, I'm so sorry to bother you. I, I can see that you're busy. We're looking for the harbor master, and I assume that to be you. That's right. What can I do to help? Lovely. Um, are there still a lot of people in this area? Like, if we're over by her, will we easily be mm. overheard? Uh, just make a quick perception check for me, please. Okay. Fourteen plus per uh, perception's only two, so sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. Um, there are a couple of people that might be able to overhear you, but you you can't tell. It, you know, it doesn't look like that they're necessarily paying attention, uh, but gotcha. they could overhear you if they wanted to listen. Um. So, uh, of course, uh, I think it would be. I don't want to burden you with the details. Um, I'm sure you'd probably prefer it that way, but we, we're, we've found ourselves in a bit of a bind. And um, we're, we're in need of um, helping a friend out. And part of that is us finding our way to this... Um, and I'll try and whisper say it. <laughs> okay. Um, to, to Red Bones Bay. We have no bloody idea. It seems like it's not anywhere. It seems like it's a dangerous place. <laughs> not on the map. Can you point us in the right direction for someone that might help us help our friend? Uh, will you make a persuasion check and a stealth check for me, please? Okay. Hmm. I... Okay, uh, 
18 persuasion. 18 persuasion. Mm -hmm. Oh, and a, and a 21 stealth. Uh, okay, 21 stealth. Okay, so definitely they're not... Uh, well, you're not saying... <laughs> yeah, no, they're definitely uh, not really paying, in, um, paying attention. Uh, you see her kind of stare at you for a moment to kind of lean forward. I don't normally how people get there, but it seems serious. Um, I can put you in touch with a navigator uh, or perhaps someone who's willing to lend you their crew uh, discreetly. What is it you're looking for? Oh, um, I wouldn't, uh, if it's the type of place it sounds like, I wouldn't want to put the fewer people the better. So if you have a navigator, that um, you feel would be all right with this, um, please. Uh, we'd appreciate it. You're a genuine lifesaver, I think. Of course. Um, go and ask for. Uh, go and ask for Gwendolyn, at the um, hunting hunter, or at least that's where she normally frequents when she's not out. Let's see. She's discreet. Good heart. She'll help you. Thank you. Thank you. Might I ask your name if that's all right, just so I can know who to give thanks to if <laughs> I find her way back. Uh, my name's Laurel. Laurel. Um, the name's Lennox. It's, it's a pleasure to meet you, and, and thank you again, genuinely. You're welcome. Anything else? And she looks like she kind of like looks like she's going back to business. Uh, um, and I'll, I'll quickly glance, see if anyone else has anything. No, 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 uh, you're quite busy, and I really ac appreciate the time. Uh, <laughs> I'm Harbor Master Laurel. Th thank you kindly. She'll kind of just nod and go back to work. Okay, I'll scooch out, and I'll mentally share as we're walking out, in case anyone didn't hear. All right, um, we're looking for navigator uh, Gwendolyn. Uh, she's at the, um, I'm so sorry, I did, I caught Hunter, but... Oh, the hunted hunter. Hunted hunter. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, she frequents the hunted hunter. Are you familiar with with that, Jules, or where that might be? Do I know where that is? Uh, yeah, it's um, it's a like middle of the road tavern that's down here by the the docks. Um, a lot of people, um, hire crews there, so um, it's pretty pretty popular with the seafaring folk. Sure. All right, let's go there. All right. I'll follow Jules' lead. Sure. Yep. All right. All right. So uh, you make your way over to the Hunter, um, and it's um, it is pretty busy. It looks like a lot of the uh, the dock workers um, and uh, sailors are here for their you know evening ale before they head home wherever they're headed. Um, so it's pretty lively. Um, uh, Pretty packed. I mean, there are a couple of tables available, but okay. Gonna do? Uh -uh. I guess, uh, Jules. I mean, should we all pull a seat at the bar and and ask the bartender what do you think is the way to go here? Leaning sure. on your expertise. Uh, wait. I'm sorry. Do you have the name of of a specific navigator, right? I do. Right. It's um Gwendolyn. Okay. Yeah. Let's just ask him or or her. All right. So, order a drink. Um. And uh, I will tip a gold for uh, however much drink is plus plus a gold, um, just an ale or whatever. Just um, and ask the bartender. Um, uh, we're looking for. I was told we can find some crew down here. We're looking for a navigator by the name of Gwendolyn. Can you point me in the right direction, friend? Oh, Gwendolyn, sure. Uh, she's back there, and you'll um, and you'll see um, an elven woman with like shock white hair um back in the back at a, at a table with uh, like three other um sailors uh, just looks like they're drinking laughing having a good time okay well, thank you I'll give a nod and give him a cheers with the mug and um i'll turn and kind of lean on the bar with everyone all right um i suppose we shouldn't all go over there together right um or... uh who do you who do you think should head over and uh, I don't mind uh, probably at least Jules and I so that we can we no, can yeah. do our I can talking. stay here I'm not really well, are yeah. you okay is everything okay 
yeah, I'm fine. Just, you know. Do you want us to change anything we're doing? Is there anything no, we can do to make you feel better? No, it's fine. It's just, uh, you know, I, just a weird situation. Sure, we're all feeling it. So, I'm okay. I'm just not that much of a negotiator, so I'll just stand right here. Uh, you know. Put my hand up on, like, the shoulder in this area. Just sort of, like, if, you know, you're willing. <clears throat> yeah. Just, oh, um. Yes, I can. I know this is definitely out of your comfort zone, as I think it is for many of us, but but I don't think you've ever held back what you thought. <laughs> but I, I just ask, you know, please don't just be sure you're sharing honestly with us, so we can. Uh... No, I've I've been sharing honestly. Right. We'll we'll do our very best to keep things above board. All right. I'm sure that's. Okay. For looking to do. Sure. Thank you for working through this, though. In the end, I know it's extra tough uh, for you. Thank you. Give a shake. All right. Uh, well, I guess Jules and I will be back in a minute. Then, hopefully, um, if we wave you over, that means come over. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right, or if well. we start fighting. Right. That too. Just us <laughs> squirrels and the cat hanging out at the bar. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> There's two girls and a cat. Two girls, I'd one click, cat. I'd click on that. That's, uh, wow. That's the next big hit Damn show. Damn Sorry. <laughs> two girls and a cat. Wow. Um, all right, I'll head over. <laughs> I'll head over with Jules. Yeah. Okay. Um. Oh, shit. You know what? I'll I'll get two drinks first. Uh. Or three. I think there, you said there's three people there. Uh, uh, yeah, there's three people plus um, plus Gwendolyn. Oh, okay. I'll bring. Uh, you know, I'll get some whatever Jules wants, and I'll and let me know whatever it costs. I'll deduct it, but I'll get um, okay. you know drink. Uh, I have a drink. Jules a drink, and then four for the you know for everyone at the table. Six okay. drinks. Mm -hmm. Six drinks. Mm -hmm. That's how math works. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> Six drinks. Um, and I'll be. Oh, I'll I'll take them over. I'll bust them. Thank you. Um, and I'll sure. hold as many as I can. And... <laughs> yeah. Um, go, like approach little... the table. <laughs> yeah. No, go ahead. <laughs> I'm not gonna... That's awesome. I'm just imagining you as like a little beer garden and you're carrying all your, your beers. Yeah, go ahead. That's awesome. Um, I'll approach. Um, oh, ho, uh, pleasure to uh, make all of your acquaintances. I'm sorry to interrupt your fun. Uh, um, I thought uh, I'd bring some drinks to break the ice if that's all right. I'll hold him up. I guess that's one way that you could do it. Sure. Lovely. Um, and I'll sit down and drink, drink up. Do you, do you mind if uh, mind if we sit? Uh, it's a bit of business, but fun too. Uh, um, we'll be brief. Sure. If you wish. Yeah. Why not? You brought drinks. <laughs> We're good company. I promise. For sure. <laughs> Thank you. I'll pull out a seat for Jules and then sit down. Can you guys both make perception checks for me, please? Uh, absolutely. Yeah. Twelve. Okay. Eighteen. Eighteen. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna text you, message you something really fast. Okay. Uh, go ahead and ask your question. I can do that. Okay, sir. I can do that. Oh, um, so, uh, I'm Gwendolyn, I believe. Uh, my name's Lennox. This is Jules. Um, yeah. it's, it's a pleasure to meet you and your, and your friends. You as uh, well. We were um, looking for a navigator. Uh, we were told uh, by um, <clears throat> the harbor master that perhaps uh, that, that you were just the person to speak to about this. Um, it is it's sensitive information, uh, you know, offense, of course, to your friends. I don't know if you like mixing business and and, and fun with friends, so I, I'd hate to um, just blurt it out if, if you don't wish me to. But I can always write down one of these napkins and, and kind of slide over our, um, our destination. We're looking for, um, we're, we're helping a friend. A friend's in a bit of trouble, and that's put us in a bit of trouble. And uh, there's a place we have to go, and it's 
very important to us. Um, of course, we're willing to pay the hazard pay and everything for you, if you consider it a hazard. I really don't know myself. I'd make a persuasion check. Oh, oh that's a 16. 16. Um, so she stares at you for just a second and then says, Boys, will you, um, excuse us for just a minute? And, like, without even, like, thinking, the, the three gentlemen get up and, and leave so that it's just the, the three of you at the table. Helping oh. a friend, huh? Hi. Um, Friend's mom, to be exact. Right, it's, it's a or... sensitive subject. Yeah. Um... Mm -hmm. How do you feel about Red, what was it, Red Bones Red Bay? Bones Bay. Uh, I prefer to avoid it, but it's kind of in the way if you want to head north, so right. you have to deal with it when you deal with it. We're, um, hmm. I, I don't think we have much of a choice, but, but to go there to, to try and clear something up and help our friends uh, while his mom gets his mom back sure. to him. Um, are, would you be willing to be our navigator? And if so, um, what are your conditions and your cost? Hmm. Well, Red Bones Bay. It'll be a platinum a day for my services as a navigator. And another 10 platinum, because I have to stay there until we get back. Right. You better have a, um, a trustworthy crew, or you're sailing yourselves, I take it? We have, well, there's um, <clears throat> five of us. One of us um, is familiar with sailing, just one. Uh, and we yeah. have a boat that is a bit of a, a magical item boat. Um, it all describe whatever I know of it, or if not, I'll, I'll message Derek to see, you know, the size and... Yeah, that's a boat, not a ship. Uh, it'll get you there, but it might take you a little bit longer. It right. might not be as safe. Oh. But it's up to you. I don't know. We don't want to be too noticeable. Great. Um, sure. And, if you were people and to be honest, have... we're probably not planning on ever going back hey. so I'm not worried about the impression we're going to make while we're there hmm. alright when are you looking to sail out then I mean as, as soon as, as you're available I, is, I yeah. suppose you could leave as early as the morning sounds good that sounds and great. full disclosure um, we're if all things go well, hopefully you'll never have to sail back there again either. That is a bold claim, sir. I like it. Right. Crack a big smile when she says that. <laughs> I just don't want you to be surprised when everything's on fire and we're running back to the boat. Right. <laughs> well, I'll see you running back to me on the boat. I'm staying on the boat. Perfect. <laughs> You'll have a great view. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Well, I guess um, swing by here in the morning. I'll be waiting, and you can show me this boat of yours. All right. All right. We'll be there. Right. Platinum and boat on the ready. Okay. Uh, thank you. Um, truly, Gwendolyn. Thank you. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. You'll send my uh, friends back. Of course, of course. Yeah. Um, Absolutely. And um, your your drinks uh, are on me for the night. I'll open a tab. <laughs> Thank you. Not everyone would has the heart to step out as you move down here. So at least I can do. <clears throat> it must Whatever. really mean something to you. It does. Well, I hope you guys uh, have a good night. 
yourselves. It's going to be a long few days at sea. And she'll give you a wink. Nice. (laughs) Um, All right. Uh, I will let me know whatever it costs for the drinks and to open a tab for them for the night. And I will will subtract that. We can do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Background. Um, I'll go back and let everyone know the good news. Um, Of course, I'll get my friends uh, drinks at the bar, too. Oh, yeah. Uh, we're in luck. She's gonna do it. She's gonna take on the task. We'll have to use a boat, Derek. Your 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 fancy magic boat. Um, yeah. And Elzara, she'll uh, be doing the the sailing. But. Uh, mm-hmm. And and she's also on board with uh, eliminating. Yeah. Uh, mm. The routes there. Right. Right. Yeah, that seems important. Uh, yes. If we can yes. manage it, I definitely. We could ask her if she knows the crew. That would also be interested in that. Well, then I didn't I think, think of that. To get a bigger boat if we were to hire more crew. Yeah, that's that's true. There's going to be some people with us. Ideally, we're probably going to pick some people up. I mean, we can go back. We and fit, well, how we big? It, how many people can be be on your boat, Derek? Uh, I believe I believe the answer to that question is like twelve, but I'm. Uh, that sounds about right, but I'd have to yeah. confirm. So, yeah. yeah. If we got uh, a bigger boat, it would be safer. She did say that with a, a, a smaller boat, it wouldn't be quite as safe travel-wise, and it would take us a bit longer to get there. Um, so if she knew of other people that might want to also rid this whole place of this element, yeah, it would mean more people and a safer boat. And yeah. more money, I'm sure we'd that's, cost more Yeah, money. it'd be more money. Mm-hmm. We, I think we should at least, I said, like, I have 800 gold, so I would be willing if that would help pay for a boat, you know, that was safer and get there quickly because I don't want to be on the ocean any more than I need to. <laughs> um, right. And then also we'd have more room if we had more people to bring back with us. Yeah, I mean, hopefully we could get a return on our investment on the other end, but if they're heavily armed, then... Right. We're, we're really spending a lot here. Uh, yes. Uh, well, that's why we're going to take action. our money back. Aye. On the, on the return. Aye. Um, I'll not, you know, to make you roleplay the whole thing up, but I'll, I'll just go back and ask her if she's amenable to that or has any people that mm. know how to sail a boat that would be up for whether they want to assist or not. If, of course, if they want to, that's great. But if even if not, having a larger boat might be ideal. Um, okay, so she will definitely have people who she trusts that can get you onto a larger boat. Um, um, and she indicates that possibly you'll have to talk to the crew. Um, Mm -hmm. you've got a few days, uh, Mm -hmm. to do so, but, um, you know, uh, but yeah, there might be some crew that, that might be amenable to helping you. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll sign up. I'll ask whatever the extra cost is, and which of course we can do whenever. But yeah, you know, I, I, as long as it's within our means and doesn't break our banks, and I'm sure we're up for it. Yeah, uh, I think you guys are gonna be fine. But okay. um, yeah, yeah, yeah. They can. We can get that negotiated for you. Yeah. All right. So, so. Good job. You too. You did good. Thank you. I'm, I'm glad it worked out. I think we should all have ourselves uh, a drink for those of us that are well in. Please, it's on me. Um, a little bit of celebration. If this gives us an advantage in what we're about to do, so let's see sure. if we can make a difference here, right? <laughs> yes. All right. Cheers. Get some drinks. Uh, yep. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Eliana will take a little drink of something too. So, do we have any concerns about tomorrow that we need to air? I mean, not any that I've already said. No. I just want to make sure we're all on the same page. But if we can, it, I think it's worth the risk of shutting this whole thing down. I, sure. Even if it's yeah. hard. Even if it's really hard. 
right? Is for me, as long as it's not a death sentence, then I'm willing to to fight. I'm willing to fight. Sure. No, I I agree. Even as you say, if it's if it's difficult, very difficult, and I think it's worth it. But of course. <laughs> Wouldn't want to cross that fine line into into just being foolish and signing ourselves. Oh yeah, absolutely. Death. Exactly. Yeah. But no one deserves that. No one deserves that, so No. 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 Derek, do you have any concerns? You've been a little quiet. No, not really. As long as we're not you know, charging into something, which doesn't sound like we're doing, we're gonna go and we're gonna we're going to take a look, and if it seems like something we can do, we do it. Yeah. And if not, we we get what we came there to do, and then hopefully screw them up when we get back. Yeah. And this is going to be a very, very tense and uncomfortable situation. So the moment any of you are done with it, I got your back. Thank you, Jules. Thank you, Jules. I uh, Hey. This is something rather grand we're undertaking, so um It it's gonna feel good if we pull this off. Hey. I'm really glad I've met you all and uh you've let me come along with you thus far. <laughs> yeah. Oh here's to us, so I'm getting another yeah. cheers and Julian, raise your glass. Um, All right. Do we need uh, to get anything tonight? I mean, is anyone anyone needing to stock up on anything before we go? I'm pretty broke, so. Yeah. (laughs) Right. (laughs) I don't have the funds anyway. Yeah. I think I was fairly stocked up in Harasa, so. Okay. No one needs anything because I can get, you know, a potion or two, probably. Mm. We still uh, have a potion. Everyone good? I think I'm just going to check. Like that. Oh, right. No, no. I think I'm, I'm all right. I've got a few potions. So. Okay. <sighs> all right. All right. Let's get some rest. Okay. Yes, finally. Okay, good. We can go to bed. Mm-hmm. I'll head back and sunk out for the night myself anyway. Okay. Um, all right, so you head back to um, uh, get a room and settle in for the night. Um, all right. So, um, uh, you guys getting up early in the morning? What do you? What is your plan for the next day? Um, when are you going to get probably up early. Yeah. yeah. About normal time. Um, yeah, if we can find what's her name, Gwendolyn. Gwendolyn. Yeah. That's yeah, it. if we can find Gwendolyn, just to get whatever information she knows about the the trip there, what to expect when we get there. Okay. All right. Um, so you get up early, uh, make your way back to the Hunter Hunter. Um, you see, Gwendolyn is uh, waiting there. She actually doesn't have um, uh, her bags or anything because she's helping provide a ship for you uh, with a, a crew. Mm-hmm. Um, and she says, all right, uh, what questions do you have for me? Or do we want to just go ahead and set sail? We can talk on the way, but I just want to make sure the crew is aware and OK with uh, our ambitions. I, um, I did. Uh, preface uh, that we were going for a rescue mission um i did preface that it could get dicey and um you know i i think they're well prepared although if you want them to do anything further than get you there and get you home you probably need to uh speak to them yourselves no that's fine all right I don't think I have any other questions myself, anyway. No. Nope. <laughs> um, 
the sooner we get there, the better. I am sure that time is our enemy with this. So, yeah. <clears throat> All right. I'm so excited to be back in the sea. <laughs> All right. Uh, England, would you mind if um, terribly? So I, I um. I'm making it part of my mission here to, to sort of map out the areas where I travel. Would it be alright if I, uh, I know you'll be navigating, if I hung about so I could sort of get a rough idea of, you know, map it out, uh, our journey out there and back? Oh, I wouldn't mind that at all, of course. Thank you, I appreciate it. Exciting. <laughs> Let's bring you to the ship then. Alright. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, she will bring you to um, what looks like um, it's a small to mid-sized ship, um, definitely much larger than the boat that you guys would have um, okay. if you use the stone. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, but it looks like it's meant for speed. Uh, mm -hmm. It's uh, got a small profile. Um, it's really meant to, to zip across the, uh, the water. So um, nice. as you board the Andromeda, um, you make your way onto the deck and you can see it's sort of buzzing with um, activity um, as there is a crew of about, um, oh, let's see here. Uh, yeah, 18, uh, including um, uh, Gwen herself. Um, and she says, I took the, the liberty of um, selecting a captain, but if their service is not needed because one of you are going to take that, Roll. Um, they'll gladly step down. Okay. I can assist. A assist. No. Sure. Yeah, I'll I'll help assist, but I don't want to be a captain. That's not really my thing. <laughs> I just like to sail, oh. but I I don't do well with with captaining. Captaining. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure. All right. Um. Great. Well, um, let me get you settled into your quarters and we'll go from there. Um, so she'll bring you down below deck. There, um, it's a, she brings you into a private room. It's all bunks, but you guys are by yourselves in this, in this space. Oh, so. Uh, okay. Oh, mm -hmm. um, top bunk. No point to one. <laughs> this is exciting. Wait, so it's one room for all of us, just to mm -hmm. clarify. Yeah, it's a pretty small ship yeah. and it, they have 18 uh, crew members, but uh, you know, it's a, I mean, it's a decent sized room, but, um, it's, it's bunks. So, you know, yeah. Eliana's going to get a bunk near Linux. Oh, nice. Sweet. Are you going to pick one under me or just near? Oh, I guess if there's one under, sure. She'll go with the one under. Okay. Dan quickly established Bottom. he was a... <laughs> That's hot. Yeah. Do you want to switch, wow. Eliana? Do you? Want to... <laughs> I'm okay. No, I think stuff. I think the closer to the to the floor I am, the probably the better. Oh, I'm not right. excited to be back on a ship. Oh, oh right. but it's so much fun. Ah, uh, sure. Yeah. It's so uh, it's a I'm shorter trip this time. This this might make you feel yeah. better. That's yeah, it's a few days. Oh, uh, <laughs> makes me feel something. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There we are. There. I knew it. I'm gonna. I'm going to brain communicate with jewels only. Did they? Did they do something? No, they refused to do something. I'm saying it out loud. No, they refused. <laughs> <laughs> I knew there was tension. They Wait, had so what? many opportunities. Are you still talking out loud? Yes. Well, Wait, so is she, she, like she's a, I'm like the across brain. the room, it's yelling. <laughs> I tried to do it oh. brain what, speak. What are y'all talking about? What what does what you Jules? Two. Team chemistry. Y'all two. Just do it already. Here, there's a there's um, probably here. We're on I'll a ship. Okay, cool. There's a lot um, of there's uh Jules. there's bunks in this room. I uh, Yeah, pick one. Uh Jules, you could come with me and we'll go to the top of the ship. <laughs> Oh, uh, to we go just this... got on this ship, Oxardus. <laughs> okay, yeah, but this, like, it's been bothering me since I woke up this morning after I didn't sleep. See, I knew something was off. There was a disturbance, and there's been tension, and I just need y'all to figure this shit out. <laughs> there, there's nothing to figure out, have I, since... Oh, okay. 
It was just cackling, like hearing that in the corner. <laughs> just like, yeah, okay, this fucking guy. <laughs> and I, I told Jules, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, everything's right. everything's fine. Everything's good. Okay, okay. I mean, I'm still going on the top of the ship because it, this is exciting. Um, I'm gonna <laughs> leave y'all to it. Okay, bye. Uh huh. Right. Where are you gonna sit, Derek? I'm trying to decide if I want to be in this room or not. Oh, Derek, yeah, you should pick your bunk. I think we have to. <laughs> I think this oh. is it. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just take whatever. I don't care. The bottom that's open. Oh, oh, your bottom. Interesting choice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just too lazy to climb a ladder. Hey, hey. Yeah. <laughs> How are you feeling, Derek? Uh, how's the sea affect you? I don't... Nah, it's it's fine. Uh, I don't know, unless it does something different to a cat body. Oh. oh. I guess we'll find out. But... Yeah, Exciting. I yeah. guess, probably. Mm. We'll have to r- report back. Let us know how you feel. Okay, yes, if I cough up any extra hairballs. <laughs> I, I guess I should... This... Oh, Oh no, I was saying I should probably go and, uh, you know, offer my help as a deckhand since I have some experience. Oh, impressive. Oh. Do something that will distract me from, you know, all of that. Hey, hey. Listen, um, right, I want to be up, up top so I can watch us uh, disembark the port here. That's, oh, yeah. that's so exciting. But if, look, sure. if you feel sick and you need your back rubbed, just let me know. I will. Thank you. Uh, same, even though you don't get sick. Oh, I do. Oh, I like my back scratched. I, maybe that's a weird thing, but oh, it feels so good. Oh, like this? And she'll scratch your back. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna, like a cat. I'm going to be like, <laughs> oh. Like, you guys are just going to hear Jules just throw all of his shit on the ground and just stare oh. at you guys. Just hear the sound of just <laughs> luggage just slamming against the floor. <laughs> Like that, a little oh, bit lower. Right, a little oh, lower. There's right a disturbance there. again. Right I'm there. Not even there. Oh, right. <laughs> just lightly growl. This is nice. Oh, well, I really need to go and uh, I'll go and uh, check on. Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna mm-hmm. show. I uh, pat him on the back and right. rub his I back can... and kind of. Okay, right. bye, Derek. I'm gonna be. Like a little kid up on deck, like, woo, let's disembark, make the ship go. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. Um, great. So uh, as all of you prepare uh, to set sail once again uh, for the first time since you've arrived to Harasa, um, I will say that, uh, Elzaris, you are brought up to the captain. Um, it is a half-orc uh, woman. Her name is uh, Drath, D R A. I T H drink, um, and she seems uh, uh, quite friendly and a, a minimal, really strong handshake, uh, and you know, uh, ready to um, help you guys recover uh, whatever it is that you're looking for. And so, um, as you set sail off this northern port uh, towards Red Bones Bay, the uh, location of the pirates, that's where we'll end tonight's session. Wow. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Wow. Oh, session of getting a lot Wraith. of shit done. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'll put it mm-hmm. in there. Thank you. For you almost played dress up for two hours, but <laughs> it was it was real close. It was real close. I nice. love playing dress up. <laughs> hey, just let me dress you up. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> All right. Okay. My goodness, we did it. Yeah, yep. you're so welcome. Mm. All right. Oh good. You know, that was a fairly productive We are session. so productive lately. Yeah. I, you know, I feel like we did this like a couple of months ago where you had like three productive sessions in a row mm-hmm. and then we yep. just, you know. And then it all fell to shit. It's mm-hmm. exhausting. Yeah. yeah. It is yeah. so exhausting. Mm-hmm. I know. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you everyone for hanging out with us tonight. Um, I hope everyone had fun. Uh, yeah. Why don't, um, if you are new to the channel, uh, 
we do play a lot of D&D around here. So uh, we play D&D on Sunday nights, Monday nights, Tuesday nights, Friday nights, and twice on Saturday nights. Um, on top of that, uh, Steph and I on Tuesdays from two to four uh, paint minis. Um, we uh, paint dungeon tiles for our um, campaigns. It looks like I'll probably have to do some water tiles here soon. Uh, Steph and I get into fights about food. Mm -hmm. um, yes, yeah, we do. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, on Fridays um, from 12 to 3, Steph does mad art with Steph, where she um, draws uh, all sorts of fan art from around the channel. Um, she takes, you know, the requests uh, in Discord and we vote for them. So um, that's always great. And then um, hopefully soon we'll be back on Sundays from 2 to 5 with uh, Mad Bird Plays, where we play board games. Still having some tech issues, but fingers crossed we'll get that fixed soon. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, and then other than that, if you want to help support us, um, the best way to do that is actually support us on Patreon. Um, it's the same as if you um, support us over here on Twitch, but uh, we get a little bit more and then we can get back to you a little bit more. Um, so definitely check that out and see um, if that's something that you would be um, willing to help us do. Um, other than that, Dan, I haven't looked to see who we should, um, I'm so sorry. Oh, no, no uh, problem. There's actually, uh, somebody new, Chaos King TV, is playing okay. some D&D, &D and they look, um, actually, let me just make sure they're not, like, following on my chat. Nope, we should be good. <clears> hey. <throat> I can Great. put the rating. Awesome. All right. Well, then, everyone, I hope you have a fantastic night, a fantastic week. I hope you got lost to rest after the, uh, American holiday this week, and, um, we will see you guys next Sunday, uh, to see what happens when we go to sea. Mm -hmm. Have a great one, all right? Yeah. Bye, guys. All right, guys, bye. Bye.